What is this? Okay, good. It looks like I just milked nothing. I should probably not do that in town. Just like jack off in the town square. Hey, how's it going? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Got him! I've just been drifting around, being led by circumstances. No, that's not right. And Ave, you helped Bart when he needed it. I can't give a fucking straight face this awful writing. Drifting, kind of like me. Holy shit. <laughs> Quite dead yet. Don't worry though, I have a telescope equipped. Uh, the sprite tells me it's a lady, but the face tells me it's a man. Do that Dr. Girlfriend voice. Yesterday my stove caught on fire. I thought the whole house was gonna put down. You, they're ugly kid. Every kid is ugly. What the? These aren't special in any way. There goes the potion! Oh! It's a perfect fit. Oh! Ooh! Well, that's gonna be a problem. 24 people have died. <laughs> we might not finish the campaign now. Oops. I never equipped the chainsaw. I never equipped the chainsaw. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I didn't stab that man with a chainsaw. I just made chainsaw noises as I hit him with an axe. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I know I heard oh, he'll have the key for sure. Police, nobody move. Like I kicked his his knee bone or something. Are you oh, blind? Oof. What in God's I I mean better luck next time. Armor broken, what the fuck? I just kicked that board and my clothes exploded. Arcanum. Damn it. Stop! You totally fucked it up! Well, you fucked me, dog. We're not getting in now. You blew it, old man! Holy shit, you blew it! Wow, it's just his face! Yes. I can't take you seriously when your planet's called Choco. Welcome to Choco. Keep your nose clean. Is your planet named after candy? Spell shit in hindsight. That went pretty good. What the hell is this? It says the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place torch if you crave the void. Okay. Uh, I fucked that up. A whole bunch. Hey there. 
we're uh, starting a new game today called Hobo Tough Life, in which homeless people are an inseparable part of the world as we know it. In Praslov, thousands of the homeless are living on the streets. Poor people with no roof over their head and no food for breakfast. Only cigarettes. The community used to be brought together by the cult of the Beggar King. Every year a new king was elected and he enjoyed privileges. However, the king also had duties towards the community. The universal decay of values eventually affected this tradition. For over 10 years, no king has been elected. Relations have cooled between the groups. Everyone protects their own interests, and the old conflicts have started anew. This is about to change. Someone remembered the old ways. Finally, the election of the Beggar King will again be held in Praslov. There you go. That's the rich story of our game, Hobo Tough Life, uh, in which we play the role of a Czechoslovakian hobo trying to become the Hobo King. I played this with some friends. It's, it's a multiplayer game, but we'll be playing single player. I played this with some friends. They did not enjoy it nearly as much as me. So I eventually managed to convince them to stop playing it. Uh, and we moved on to something else. We're playing Mercenary Kings right now. That's a fun one. Uh, but we stopped so I can live my full hobo homeless life. It is, uh, it's, it's, it's Euro janky. Uh, so it's got some quirks. Uh, I've learned most of them in my time playing. And, uh, we're kind of going to hit the ground running, but hopefully I can explain the systems as we go without moving too quickly. Uh, but at the same time, the game has to move quickly because we're a hobo, uh, in Czechoslovakia. So we have to not freeze to death. We have to feed ourselves. Uh, we have to, like, fight off depression. Um, other, you know what? I think the game's a little too loud. The intro is definitely too loud. But I think it goes from 100 to 0 because this game was made in the uh, former Soviet Union. Let's turn down our music here a bit. We'll keep it at 50 for now. Because uh, this is 100. That's probably a little too loud. There's actually not a lot of music in the game. I was contemplating getting a, like some royalty-free playlist while we play, but I couldn't find enough slav music to play in the background while we live our hobo life. Turn this down a little bit, too. It's better to have it too quiet than too loud, because we can crank it back up to 100. Um, but we'll go with this. It's, it, it's, it's a more ambient game. It's not a very loud game. Uh, and we will just be a first-person... Hope it's it's such a weird game. I think it's I think this game was genuinely made to draw attention to the plates of the homeless. So it's not a it's not meant to be a comedic game. Uh, but it's not overly serious. I think it's probably a little off kilter because of the translation, but it's not meant to be super serious, but it's definitely not a, a, a comedic game. We have to deal with the depressive life of uh, Euro hobos. Anyways, let's create a game. Uh, we'll host a multiplayer state server, but it's actually going to be private, so you can't join. So I'm sure I'll be explaining it to the seven people that own Hobo Tough Life and want to play multiplayer. I will not be playing with anybody. I'll be playing this alone. Uh, but like I said, I played it with two friends, and we had a very efficient hobo operation. Uh, I was in charge of looking for garbage in the dumpsters and doing quests to unlock new hobo skills. Uh, my one friend was the face. He would hang out at the train station and beg for money all day. And our other friend would use the money and the garbage that we found to build us a hobo hut to live in. We can set it to uh, hardcore and stuff where we die permanently. I don't like that. Um, you can die, but there's not permadeath. And I'll touch on that a little bit once we get into the game. Uh, but yeah, it's always we're always racing against the clock, trying to feed ourselves and not get cold. Uh, but I think... 
I think it's a little slow in the beginning. It's been a while since I've played the early game. I think it's a little slow in the beginning. So we'll have some time. Oh, God, that's... Uh, so, did the word along just get censored? Unfortunately, yes, Justin. Oh, no. YouTube has a problem right now where they have all these just shitty Russian bots that keep spamming their broken porno links, and I tried to filter them out. And apparently in doing that, I filtered out the word along. Oh, it's going to be back to the drawing board on that plan. I was actually going to completely turn off the YouTube chat. I can read the YouTube chat, but I was trying to stop the YouTube chat from showing up on the screen. Uh, because of these fucking Russian bots. Hey, Bane. You know what? I didn't want it popping up, but just so it's in character with our weird Eurojank slab game, I'm going to turn it back on so the Russian bots will come visit us. It's... It's... It, it's... I mean, YouTube's incredibly rich. I don't know how they haven't squashed these fucking bots out. We barely have to deal with it on Twitch, right? We, all we get is those bots that tell us to buy followers, and those are maybe maybe one per stream at most, but I feel like we get like 10 or 15 of these fucking Russian bots. But One second here. I'm going to turn off that filtering because it did not dawn on me that I was going to block a long. And to answer your question, Bane, we're playing a Czechoslovakian hobo simulator. We'll be right back, though. It's not a big deal. You're not wrong, but... The intention is, I don't want it to be jarring for people that watch it after, like, that watch the VOD. Which is why I didn't want the messages to appear at all, but it's better, I think, to have them appear... Um, yeah, it's just, it's, because YouTube blocks it from becoming a functional link, but then they just type in gibberish to try and get through it, and it doesn't, so it's, oh, these fucking bots. It's entirely possible that one day in the near future, I'll just completely move over to Twitch, because they have a few less bots to contend with. It's just the way it goes. You gotta roll with the punches. That's a mentality we'll need to cut it as a hobo. Pirin Creative, by the way, made this game. I think you're actually in Czechoslovakia. Uh, this is loosely based on Czechoslovakia. It's not a one-to-one -one representation. And one thing I will comment on, because this is Eurojank, is some of the people look fucking weird. Create game. Host. Time to... Bob, yeah, people can't join. Okay. No, no, sorry. This is one I made to test. Uh, the single-player functionality. So we actually want this one. This is Time Travel Astronauts World. See so if we can go hardcore. Uh, we can't store things in our hideout uh, when we fail the crafting mini game. The items are destroyed. We can't walk when we're overweight. Uh, you can't fix things that are broken. Healing is weaker. Um, there's like a friendly tutorial hobo. And he holds on to our things when we die. We'll touch on that. Uh, you find less stuff in the garbage bins. Begging gives you less money. And I can only carry one inventory expansion. And then Hardcore Plus is for... <laughs> uh, just become fucking homeless in real life. Just give it all away to charity. And you can live Hardcore Plus Hobo Tough life in your everyday life. I would not recommend this difficulty. We'll play on normal because we're a normal, reasonable hobo. Create. Now we get to choose our hobo. You can unlock other hobo archetypes through playing the game and accomplishing achievements, but they're really not worth it. We have the default hobo. He's a common, everyday hobo, just like the thousands of others of his kind. He doesn't dare to have a hope for a bright future. 
Every new day is a blessing. He just needs to hang in there. No advantages, no disadvantages. This guy's great. The experienced oldster has been around for a while. Among other things, he's learned that good manners can help in the long run. His demeanor and appearance often soften people's hearts. However, his body isn't what it used to be, and the old man gets tired more quickly. That's okay, though. He's not in a rush. So the positive to being old hobo is that he has higher charisma, so it's easier to beg for money. The downside is he gets sleepy. And then if I read 30 books in a single game, we'll gain access to the old hobo, but I never did that. This is the most appealing hobo. Smelly Jack. He's not afraid to get dirty. He quite likes it, actually. He eagerly dives even into bins other hobos would happily pass on, thanks to that. Jack always finds some extra stuff, but at what cost? Advantage. He finds more things in the garbage, but he smells quicker than other people. He's probably the most balanced hobo, I think. Because um, it's easy to keep your stink under control. But you have to be 90% stinky for two days, which is you kind of got to plan for that unlock in a playthrough. And then lastly, we've got this shitter, Lucky Luke. Luke likes to drink. In fact, he likes to drink so much that he refuses to kick the habit under any circumstances. And he's got a good reason for that. It seems that whenever he's drunk, everything kind of works out for him, almost like some kind of drunk luck. His advantage is he is literally more lucky when he's drunk. When he fails a minigame, he may pass anyways. And scratch-off cards tend to give more money. But you're permanently addicted to alcohol, which is quite crippling when you are penniless. And to unlock this, just be 90% drunk for at least two days. You know, which wouldn't cause your liver to fail. Oh look, it's one of the Russian bots. Perfect. And there you go, Justin. That's why uh, Along was muted. Oh boy, but I never unlocked other hobos. We're going to play as default hobo. Just a common hobo. Let's begin. I should first find out, why does your head hurt? We know a lot of the mechanics, so we're going to kind of go pretty fast and loose here. Note, your head hurts like hell. You feel like you've slept for two centuries at least. You have no idea how you got here and can't remember anything. Try asking the man nearby. He might know something. Here's our little hobo sketch map we have. Um, we can buy a map of the city. That's going to be one of our first goals. Our other goal uh, is we're going to get a flashlight so we can do hobo stuff at night. All right, let's get cracking. Let's give you a little Hobo 101 rundown. Uh, right now it's 15 degrees outside. I've seen it go down to minus 20 degrees when wintertime comes. So we're trying to get our skills up and get a Hobo base and get some nice wintertime clothes before winter hits, which is uh, probably like 15 or 20 days before we're in real trouble. Right here we've got a fire barrel. We can throw things in to burn to warm us up and dry us off. Uh... We can never build these, so we have to depend on pre-placed ones. And some of these are permanently lit by other hobos, so we can warm up for free. So we'll want to memorize those. It's definitely a game about uh, learning routes and maximizing your time in a day. We're going to lose a lot of time today while I read stuff out loud, though. Let's look at our stats here. We have our health. Um, that'll go down if we get beat up. And if it goes all the way down to zero, uh, we'll die. If we do die, our maximum stats... All, uh, they go down by 10%. So if I die, I won't have 100% health anymore. I'll have 90% maximum health. And those go down to a maximum of 40%. But if your stats are 40%, you're in terrible shape. Because that also includes your temperature. So when you respawn, you'll already be 40% cold. Which is fucking awful. Okay. More stats, right? Health. This is the most important one. Hunger. Uh, we just got to eat. That's not a huge deal. I think when it gets under like uh, maybe under 20%, the stat will turn red. And when stats are red, we slowly lose health. So we want to keep as many stats out of the red as possible, as long as possible. Hunger. Uh, hunger's a little tricky because fo food we find in the garbage will make us sick. So hunger's a little tricky if we don't have money, but we can manage. This one's our morale. Um... It goes down when we steal from people uh, because we're a good Christian hobo. Uh, getting arrested makes us sad. And uh, I think just generally if life's going shit, we'll lose morale. Ways to increase morale, uh, get very drunk, 
read a porno magazine you find in a garbage can is my personal favorite. This is our energy. Uh, we just get very tired. This is also our maximum stamina, so we don't want to be sleepy. Uh, coffee and energy drinks can help us get it up, or we can sleep on a bench. Temperature, probably the most important one, because uh, it gets really fucking cold. Uh, getting drunk keeps this up. Buying nicer clothes will keep this up. Standing by fire barrels will keep this up. Um, and sometimes we'll find food. Oh, yeah, there's no pause. It's real time all the time, Bane. But uh, it's like mid-autumn or something, so I'm only concerned about getting hungry, really. Temperature is the most concerning thing, because like when it's wintertime uh, and we're well off, we can keep our food and our happiness and our energy under control, but we'll just be fucking freezing all the time. Temperature is a big one. Uh, this is our wetness. If it rains or snows, we'll slowly get wet. And if we're wet, we get cold quicker. Uh, standing near fire or just being out of the rain helps us dry off. This is our intoxication. Uh, certain people won't talk to us when we're too drunk. Uh, so we want to keep that low, but alcohol makes us happy and keeps us warm. So sometimes you're a little drunk. This is food poisoning, which is going to be a problem when we eat half discarded pizzas we find in dumpsters. And this is actual illness. If we get too cold, we'll get sick. And when we're sick, our health goes down. More so than everything else. When we eat, our toilet paper goes up. Uh, when that hits 100%, we will shit our pants and be very smelly. And the smelling fish skeleton is our smell. That'll naturally go up as we go through garbage. Uh, and we will just like find wet naps and we just rub them on us. Uh, so yeah, big things are stinky and poopy are kind of hard to keep under control. Uh, just be careful what we eat out of the garbage to keep these three under control. Stay warm. And then just, this is, you know, these are ones us regular home full people have to worry about being sad, falling asleep, and being hungry. All right, we start off with five bandages. That gets our health up. We have a scratch card. Let's see if we get any starter money. We didn't. Uh, we can put this in the fire barrel now. Uh, almost everything can be used as kindling, and it's balanced terribly because the minimum value is 10 cents, so we will... Burn this lottery ticket for 10 seconds of heat, which we don't need. We have five lock picks because there's lock picking. It's like the Fallout lock picking minigame. Our stats are going down, but now we're about to begin our hubble adventure, Justin. We're looking for little uh, interactables, little storage containers like this that'll have hobo things for us. It's a very crafting heavy game. We have some rope, some old textiles. And you would think we can go through garbage. But we actually need a special perk to go through loose garbage. As a, as a starting hobo, we can really only navigate uh, organized trash bins. We can't go through just piles of trash on the ground. If there's a hobo over there. He's going to get our quest started for us. And again, it's like 18 degrees outside, so we'll be fine even at nighttime for now. So our main concern now is getting too hungry and falling asleep. Hey there, dude. I'm not a dude. I'm Meisner. Meisner's my name. Fine, Meisner. Have you found anything useful around? Mostly, yes. Yeah. Some blankets, planks. I need it for my shelter. It's a nice hotel you have there. Are you getting ready for the winter? You bet. People say this is going to be a brutal one. If you don't have a shelter, you're as good as dead. Hey, Meisner. Do you uh, know how I got here? I don't seem to remember anything. From the way you look, you probably got really shit-faced somewhere uptown and decided to lie down here in the pit. You know about any recent parties? At least not here in the pit. Try asking Fergrim. He's a rascal, all right. Damn, don't even remember my name. I'm never going to drink again. That might be for the best. Who knows? Maybe you'll kill yourself next time. Sounds like a plan, he says. Um, so NPCs have health. We can beat them up if we want to, but that makes us like an evil hobo. And I think we get a little more bang for a buck being a friendly hobo with the other hobo's leg. And this is their trust. As their trust goes up, they'll teach us their secret hobo perks. And uh, sometimes we can just ask for favors. Uh, and this little hourglass here is basically uh, interacting with them will take a certain amount of time, which is the stat that regenerates. So right now I can, I can talk with him. But I think... Usually these ones are quests, so we're going to grab these. What are you drinking? Is that any good? I ain't going to give you nothing. I make it myself. First class life bringer. 
Great, how do you make it? Isn't it better to just buy some boxed wine? Fuck that. This godly drink's practically free, if you know where to look that is. If you find some bottles with a few drops of alcohol remaining, bring them to me and I'll show you my art. A winter's coming? Yep. You're gonna freeze to death if you don't have a shelter. Preach it, brother. Would you mind if I stayed here for a bit? Are you mad? Not gonna happen. This is my hotel. Go build your own. Do I look like I know how to build a hotel? I don't even know where to begin. Look, go see Drax. He has all sorts of equipment laying around. Maybe he'll give you something. You can start building right over here next to me. Nobody from the city gives a fuck about that. Nobody gives two flying fucks about the pit. Hallelujah. Yeah, thanks. A little chat. Have a look at this. What is it? Brutal weapon. No one's gonna fuck with you if you carry something like this around. Don't ask me where I got it. Where do you get this stuff? All over the place. If you're lucky, you can find some just lying in the trash. Quality stuff's harder to get, though. Oh. I've also heard that the new crew that set up camp in the pit has a lot of weapons. Supposedly, they even have a person that makes the weapons for them. Interesting. You still want to look at that weapon? What is it? It's a frying pan, and he'll sell it to me for 120 crowns. No, thanks. Uh, so yeah, this is Myers. He's kind of our lifeline. He gives us a lot of quests that teach us like starter recipes and kind of how the game works. And we're allowed to build one of our bases right next to him. I think we're allowed to have four hobo bases. Our hobo bases are magical. Um, we place items in them and they give us stat ups. Uh, we can also store items in them, and items are magically transported between hobo bases. So uh, the one thing is to have like a route around the city, and then you sort of stop off at your hobo bases, warm up, drop off some stuff you found. What's bully? Just intimidation. We'll fight him, and if we win, he gives us stuff. Uh, the combat's very simple, though. It's basically just text-based. Uh, we just stand there just throwing dice at each other effectively. I don't bully, and I try to avoid the combat in general, because uh, if you lose your health, you die, and our stats go down. Uh, you have to spend money on equipment, and equipment breaks, so. We're trying not to consume too many resources, so I don't fight. Lost and found is what I was saying earlier, is when we die, Meisner always finds our body and takes all our shit and sells it back to us. Uh, which is great, unless you are poor and die constantly. But we never lose our items as long as we can buy them back from Miser. Barter? He also sells some furniture for... I've never seen this. A weird whale. What the hell is that? A tattered mattress? Ooh. I have 20 crowns to me. I think, I think it's like 10 crowns to a US dollar is the conversion. So it, it seems like you'd have a lot of money. Like a hobo with $20. He's fucking set. It's like this is more like $2. We're not in good shape. Uh, but we'll find things like, uh, we'll find busted shit and basically have recipes to fix them and pawn them for money or just decorate our base with them. Um, and I know my way around a little bit. Well, I know my way around a lot, actually. Uh, we're going to try to look. So this is our base right here. They let us build under the overpass. So the police don't come down here and harass us. We have a fire barrel to stay warm and we have a little crafting bench. And uh, again, that's the garbage that we're not sure how to go through. So we're looking for uh, containers to loot. There's one. Junk, old textiles. And uh, it's weight-based, but we can find uh, like plastic bags and backpacks to expand our inventory. So right now we carry 26 pounds of shit. Nothing here. So yeah, $50 for a map is our first goal. $50 for a flashlight is our second goal. And then we need to start, uh, oh, some junk and a returnable bottle. We can sell those to a convenience store for a couple bucks. Textiles, duct tape. Garbage we can't go through. Yep, okay. Hey, Mitch. Hey, Billy. Oh, a baseball cap, our first piece of equipment. And some nails. So you'll see here, we have our cold resistance, water resistance, food poisoning resistance. And this is a sickness immunity. And then we have attack and defense for fighting, 
Charisma determines if random passage by will talk to us when we beg for money. But we're going to put on the baseball cap because it actually gives us a little bit of everything. Uh, our clothes will get slowly ripped as we dig through garbage. There's someone around in town that'll fix it for us. I'm not sure where they are. And as we get more levels in our crafting, we can fix our own clothes. And that's the ideal. The ideal is to become a self-sufficient hobo, but you can have a middle ground where it's like you beg for money and pay people in town to do stuff for you. Got a bunch of wood here. Wood burns for a long time, but we can also craft walls for our house, which is important. It's, all, it's not as important as you think. The house is just for decoration. Um, we basically just need a roof so we don't get wet. Um, we can't actually wall ourselves in all the way and survive the cold. See, this one's locked. So we're going to crouch. I don't think hobos mind if you steal because we have no morals, but if townspeople see us picking locks, they'll call the police and we'll get in trouble. And stealing makes us sad. I'm going to take these nails. A little bar fills up so people can catch you while you're doing this. See, morale down minus three because nobody likes to steal. We're going to take this old tire. Thought up a new blueprint for our base. Uh, usually you have like weird hobo furniture you'll figure out how to build. There's some doors here, but we're looking for... Oh, some more shit to steal. Uh, is this... We did finish Valhalla Nights. I beat Valhalla Nights last night. Uh, Endgame was a lot shorter than I thought. Some asphalt. You'll notice our skills are going up. There's a lot of skills. And... Uh, they all become very powerful as we hit thresholds and get special passives for them. Uh, so if we have the time, we want to focus on as many stats as we can. I'm going to take all their wood planks. This is going to make us pretty sad, though. We might be approaching like 60% morale right now. But usually getting drunk makes us happy. Uh, reading porno makes us happy. If we can find some playboys, if we can find a couple playboys, we'll be in good shape. And the sun's going down, but the city is really functional until like 9 o'clock here. And then it's just dark and cold for a little bit more. Uh, yeah, we, you can get a lot done in the city at night, and you can get a lot done. Um, hobos don't really sleep. Sometimes they'll be too drunk to talk to you, but generally you can do hobo stuff at nighttime and like city stuff in the daytime. See, this is why we need the flashlight. It's like not even dinner time yet. We can barely see in here. More bottles to return, more nails for crafting our hideout. How are we doing for morale? We're only we're already at 38%. We're quite sad. We should stop stealing shit. It's going to get really rough at first until we start getting some perks and such. This is the guy that he wanted us to talk to. You've heard there's someone who supplies to the camp of newcomers in the pit. Visit Drax and try to get some furniture from him. This is Drax. Hello, friend. We're not friends. We're on the same side, man. If you say so. You want something? Are you going to stand there all day long? Can we at least barter? Sure. That's good to hear. But Meisner said you sometimes have useful materials and furnishings? Yep, I collect all sorts of furnitures. You could call it a kink of sorts. Could you spare something for me? I want to build a shelter for the winter. I don't usually sell stuff, but here, take this. Just takes up space in here, and I really don't want it. He gives you an improvised table. There we go, we can put that in the house. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the base building works. My friend was in charge of the base. I was in charge of gathering hobo garbage. Is that your guard dog? No, he comes here to play poker. Of course he's a guard dog. He's my dog. Handsome fella. Where'd you get him? He was mine before I even came home once. His name is Boris, and he'll bite your ass if you annoy him. Guess it's not a bad idea to have such a friend. Well, I can certainly recommend it. Try asking around the gypsy slum. They know how to get a dog. You don't want to know what for. I'll swing by there. Uh, so we'll barter with him because he sells furniture and furniture components. We can also sell him furniture we find in the garbage. So this tire, for example, which I think is how you make a table. We can sell him this tire for 20 bucks. What does he have today? Can, an old stove. Some stuff that you would think is functional actually isn't. Like, I don't think the old stove is for cooking. But the bathtub, we can make our own bathtub to help wash off our stink. Car seat. See there? 
level one, level two, level three, we can, I think we can upgrade it and then it'll give us that passively. So if we upgrade this car seat, it will passively give us water resistance. So ideally we get all those perk boosts in our base. Like this, uh, this adds storage space to our base because it's got the little cardboard box. That's just a chair. It's like it says the stove is rested shut. See, yeah, it, it's, it's hard to tell because like, um, we could buy this stove and then we'll get a crafting recipe to fix it and then it would actually serve a purpose. But I don't think you get a cooking workstation. Let's just chit chat with him. Want a drink? Not today. I don't want to get in a drinking contest with him because uh, we'll get blackout drunk. Here's a free hobo barrel. So if we're ever in trouble and we don't have anything to burn, we can run over here and warm up. Most of these hobos standing around out here don't do anything. That was the quest, by the way. Let's go back to Meisner. This game's going to get really mechanical later on. It's kind of like going through the motions each day trying to stay alive. Regarding that life bringer, oh, he doesn't have a quest. You got everything? All right, so we have to fish some old alcohol out of the garbage. And then he'll give us another quest. Let's go place our table, I suppose. I think this is the biggest base. I've seen some people recommend you put like all your storage expansion, like stat boosting things in this base, and then the other bases are more functional with like a bed. Uh, so I'm going to start building. I'm going to place our table. See, we have little milestones here. Place equipment level one. If we do that five times, we'll level up our base. I'm going to put this tire right here. So it's like a little chair. Doesn't really do anything. Now I know where to build my own hotel. Good news! We can be neighbors. Great, just what I've always wanted. I'm also glad. Asshole. I'm also glad. We're a friendly hobo. Don't get all cocky with me. Without a shelter, the first rain's gonna piss all over you. Can't be that hard. I'll have a look here and do the same. You're pathetic. Jesus Christ. I don't remember him being such a cunt. Alright, well that's that. Let's go out into the city. Return those bottles for some walking around money. Might need to buy some coffee. Or uh, porno. We'll probably buy a porno. Get a playboy cheer ourselves up. Welcome to the city of Praslov, with its janky, janky-looking people. Here's a dumpster. Uh, most things you do are mini-games, so we're going to go through the garbage here. It's like a minesweeper game. Mm -mm. See? We have a special hobo sense. And that tells us that that's a bad tile. If we touch that tile, we'll rip our clothes a little bit and get smelly. So we want to try to avoid those. But the problem is, is uh, our hobo sense is never quite enough to see where all the garbage is. So you're, if you linger in the garbage minigame too long, you'll eventually hit the stinky garbage and fuck yourself up. I've seen some people recommend just walking away once you uh, don't have any more hobo sense. We'll get more. We have one right now. As we level up our dumpster diving skill, which is what we get from going through the garbage, as we level that up, we'll get more uh, of those detections. Uh, but also, I just like to uh, just rummage around and devil may care. Just cut my clothes right up for a bunch of garbage. It's an ashtray here. You can't quite see it, but... Oh, right. We can smoke as well to cheer ourselves up. But smoking makes you sick because they're trashy cigarettes we find. Ooh, some coins. Oh, cut myself. And then if I go over it again, I'll cut myself again. All junk. As we level up... Um, the hobo gods will smile upon us, and this will be usable, and not just a junk, useless tile. Check these for cash. Three bucks. Same with the phones. Look at that, you're living the hobo life. Here's a bigger garbage can. Let's see, oh, some soap. We can wash off the stink. Bottle. Oop, oh, that'll give us some inventory space. And we're gonna do the thing I said, where we're gonna walk away. There, that's it. Don't want to risk it. The garbage will fill up every day or two, so we can just come back. Some 
garbage here. Oh, a mini game. Now this is a hard mini game. But I've been doing it for a very long time when I played with my friends. That's actually a great find. A cheap fur coat? Completely fake. But it'll warm you up and that's what counts. Look at that. Cold resist, water resist. And then that orange bar there means as the item gets damaged, we'll slowly lose those perks till we fix it. So while it's completely fixed, we get cold resist, some charisma, and more cold resist. That's a great fucking find for the first day. Wow. Look at this. We get 16 cold resist, 2 water resist. That pretty much is going to make temperature not an issue for the next few days. And we can burn this for warmth or sell it. With that new coat and these bottles, I think we'll have enough money for a flashlight. All right, we've got a lock pick. Oh, that's it. Just walk away. Got to play it safe. I was pretty devil may care as a hobo with my friends backing me up because my, my begging friend had a lot of money. A wet wipe. That's the wash off the stink. I cut myself. Some bread here. Now, whenever we find food in the garbage, it turns into a generic scrap food, which makes us very sick. But eventually, we'll learn a recipe to cook that into, like, delicious hobo stew. Yeah. That was it. We got it right away. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. There's some hobos here, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, clock's, clock's against us right now. Thought you'd layer the coats. There's a few quirks to it, Justin. Like, yeah, we can't layer coats. Um, we don't wear gloves. Although, like, our regular gear gives us more than enough cold resist. We're always walking around with our bare hands. My morale is broken, so see, now my health is going down. So I'm going to just finish off this little stub of a cigarette. Give us enough morale while we go try to find a Playboy. Hello? This is a snack stall. We should be able to sell the bottles back to him. Perfect. Sell all those. Gave us ten dollars. So yeah, he'll sell regular people food, but stuff we find in the garbage can costs zero dollars. Roll, loaf of bread, hamburger, ham sub, just really good food. Rum is uh, a lot of hobos take rum in exchange for things. So like most hobos won't teach us hobo perks unless we give them a bottle of rum. But we can find all that stuff in the garbage once we get our garbage digging skill up really high. We'll actually uh, be in great shape. It's another snack stall. Some are snack stalls. One is a tobacconist, and he's the one that sells the flashlight and the, the road mat. There he is. Here we go. $60 for a nudie mag. 100 morale. We got to get one of these. Newspaper is great for burning. Um, we'll find in the garbage. I'm not going to buy it. There's the city map. Uh, that just gives us a little more detail when we call up our crayon map. And there's the flashlight for 50 we have 36 bucks right now. Well, we could try to beg from some people. Cops will never give us money. Uh, but basically, uh, you just talk to people until your charisma procs and they uh, stop to talk to you. Well, hello, here's a stranger. He's easy. They're easy, average, or tough. Um, easy people are easier to ask for money. Uh, and tough people will give you more money if you sell them things you find on the street. And generally, tough people will give you more money. But at our level, easy people are our best chance for begging. Let's talk to them. I'm kind of in a hurry. Maybe you could help me. Where can I find the tea house? Second infusion? I have no idea. Once we get a hobo perk, uh, we can consume our willpower. I was in an accident a week ago. I'm from Pilsen, and, you know, I've lost my health insurance card, so they won't accept me in the hospital, and now I need to get 100 crowns for a train home to Pilsen. Could you help me, please? That's interesting. We'll discuss that in a second. Two lightning bolts. I have no idea, sorry. But that successfully boosted our beg chance. So we're going to beg. Go bother someone else. Absolute failure. I can try to talk to him again to distract him, which failed. Um, so if we talk to them successfully, we'll boost these other ones where we can beg for money. We can sell them garbage that we've crafted, or we can just pick their pocket. Uh, but it was that thing where for two lightning bolts, I could lie. Uh, and this is our willpower. You can use willpower to force successes, basically. Um, like force a lockpick minigame to succeed takes willpower. The problem is, is we start with two max. And you have to get like really long quest chains and very annoying hobos befriended to give you more max willpower. And I've never gotten more than two max willpower. Nah. 
Uh, we're just going to try to talk to a bunch of people here because I really want that flashlight for nighttime. They might disconnect the gas at my place, so I know how cold the winter will be for you. Oh, man. This winter's going to be a tough one. Money? Gave us 19 bucks. Here's a little something. Thanks, homie. That was enough for the flashlight. We'll worry about the map later. Perfect. Hello, incredibly homely woman? Life in Czechoslovakia. Now he's tough, so he is going to be very hard to convince to beg, but he'll give us a bit of money. Beat it, will you? Tonight I'm going to a wine club to taste some rare vintage, and I don't want your stench to spoil my sense of smell. I already did some tasting earlier. 15% chance. Yeah, no, and then a very, very shitty chance to sweet talk him again. No. Luckily, Justin, we don't. As long as we don't die, this battery will last forever. Hello? School prepared me for people like you, lacking any fundamental social and economic skills, but reality is even worse. Reality is often much worse, you bitch. Money? Oh, 33. 33! Hello, chesty woman. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have called a chesty woman. Man in shorts. Not interested. Ooh, ashtray. I'm interested in this. Oh. I just don't risk it. Don't risk it. See, dumpster diving. So, mm, the thing is, is we could... Well, actually, that's a good idea. Hang on. That's a pretty greasy strategy we can try once the sun goes down. Another cigarette. Yeah, just take the cigarettes. Just cut your losses. Whoops! See? That's what happens. Box of wine! Five morale. It'll get us a little tipsy. Oh, but we need that alcohol. We need that alcohol for Meisner. Bartender? So I have two strained alcohol, now I need two strained drinks. And he'll teach us how to make our own special hobo brew. I am very fucking... I am not in good shape. What we'll do though is we'll put this garbage bag in our hand. That gives us more carry weight. Now we hold 28 pounds. Excuse me, miss. No. I really need 60 bucks so I can rub one out. People are not kind to each other anymore. That's not good. We should learn how to be nice to others. I agree wholeheartedly. Money, please. Go bother someone else. But what if I were to fail that? Okay, see ya. What's in here? Gas station here sells some food. I'll just try to pop in any shops we find along the way. I'll be counting on you to remember where all the shops are, because there's a lot of unlabeled shops in this game. This gas station attendant will sell us 60. we got to find a porno mag on the cheap. This is kind of important for now, is around the back of the gas station is a shitter. We have to pay to use it. Toilet attendant? Hello, I'd like to put something down here for 20 crowns, which is which is a quarter, right? That's what we charge in Roller Coaster Tycoon. But that's a lot of money when you're a hobo. See, I got greedy there, because I keep finding the fucking hobo sense right away. Damn it. Okay, needed this one. This is a good run. Couple of bottles. I right, got a flashlight. Big dumpster here. Oh, too many games. That's going to be tricky. Okay, take that. Damn it. We have to start over all the way. Oh, a chair for our base. As we level up our. Um, one of our stats, the 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 green area in the mini game will get bigger and bigger. So we'll just get better at this. Ordinary jeans. We've got a whole set of clothes. That's not true, actually. We don't have any shoes. Goodbye, hobo pants. Look at this. More charisma. More cold. More water. More defense. Man, what a what a time to be a hobo. I really do need to find a porno where health is going down. We're also starting to get a little peckish. But I have, I have a plan, don't you worry. Are there multiple maps or is it just a large one? It's just this one city that we spend a lot of time in. The rest of the whiskey? You'll find items in this minigame? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. See, it said last, it said the rest of the whiskey, but it gave us strained alcohol. So some of these items are just like flavor and then turn into generic garbage. Okay, good. I was a little hesitant to go through this tunnel because you'll find hooligans that try to mug you if you're not careful, and one of them one of them loves to hang out here. 
That sucks. Okay, so one important thing we're trying to do, we might be out of time. Um, and the game never warned you about this place up front, but I know about it. Is there is a charity? Is it tough? Do you know where I could find some vegetarian restaurant around here? I have no idea, sorry. Oh, wow. Even if we fail, we get XP. Um, is there's a charity house, and once per day, she'll either give us some clothes or some food. That's a big deal. Also, here's an important one. If we go to the church, we'll be blessed, and that gives us a little morale regeneration because we're a good Christian. Father Burian, Lord be praised. God bless. You're the boss here? I'm no boss. I'm only a servant and guardian of this tabernacle of big boss in heaven. I'm Padre Burian. Newly assigned to the Church of St. Maurice. Nice to meet you, Padre. Can I come to the church to pray? But of course, this tabernacle will accept any person that comes in. However, it would be good if that person that comes in didn't smell too much with consideration towards others, of course. Sure thing. I wouldn't dare bring any bad blood here. Glad to hear that, son. Glad to hear that. Uh, could I get a blessing from you? But of course, in the name of our Lord, be blessed. So faith is that buff, the, the brain, I think. That was awesome. I'd like that one more time. Not so fast. Even blessings have to be deserved for deeds done in the name of our Lord. Well, but how could I deserve anything in the name of our Lord? I'm a poor man after all. Even people like you can be beneficial. And I can even give you an opportunity. This church didn't have a very good reputation during the former Padre service. It's required to renew the glory of this tabernacle. Okay, how can I help? You can tell people on the street the news that the Church of St. Maurice has a new priest. Let them come themselves so they can see if he's worth anything. My respect to you will grow for every sheep you bring here. I could probably get you some of those sheep. I meet a lot of different people out there. So now we have a quest to convince at least five people to come to the church now that the pedophile priest is gone. Which is this one? Yes, convince five people. Talk to people on the street and tell them there's a new priest in town. Unfortunately, that replaces the begging minigame, I think. Hello, weird woman? Yeah. Leave me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fuck you. Ah, uh, the charity might be closed. I don't think the charity's open 24 hours a day. Hopefully we can get there. This is one of those things where it's good that I know my way around. Because if we didn't know about the charity, we'd be hard-pressed for food. But if we can get there, we can ask for some uh, some stew. A newspaper to burn for warmth. Let's stop here. Speaking of, this is one of the hobo bases. This is our second base, and I'm going to use this one because it's near the charity and it's near a shopping mall in the church. Some locked dumpsters, and there's a burning barrel here. There's a little hobo in that garbage box. I forget who he is. There's a lot of hobos, and it's hard to remember where they all are. But there's a few hot spots I know about. The charity is one of them. Hello. Did you know there's a new priest at the Church of St. Maurice? My granny and I used to go there before she died. She always praised the old priest. I liked him too. Perfect. I think I'll have to go check it out. You'll cry for sure. All right, we can still beg. Do you know where I can find some vegetarian restaurant? No. Money? No. Oh, well. Officer, don't mind me. Darn. Ooh, a pizza. But that becomes scrap food, as you would. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey there, incredibly thick jaw man. Do you know there's a new priest at the church? I do. Okay. Well, good talk. I couldn't live in the city. I've got a house in the country. I'm just here to run some errands. A little late, but okay. Fresh air, relax. You wouldn't have to tell me twice. Uh, beg? Yeah, we're at 20%. We really need to get some levels in begging. Did you know there's a new priest? Times have changed for the better. Ooh, that was a close one. You won't regret it. I'm not interested in talking to you unless you have advice on how to lose 10 pounds of weight. I don't know. Money, please? Well, fuck you. Will police give me shit? They will only give me shit if I get caught stealing something. Ah, the, ch the charity's open still. Thank God. Good morning, madam. Is this some kind of charity? God bless, sir. Something like that. A small charity. I've never seen you here, though. It's my first time here. How did you find out about us, you ask? My last playthrough. It's good that you found us. Here you can get basic services for a small price, or you can buy some clothes. Okay. So, we can shower and do our laundry and take a shit cheaper than other places in the city, but this is kind of out of the way. Can I get something for free from the charity? 
what do you need? I'm very hungry. We can get clothes or food, but we found a, we found a lot of nice clothes today, so I'm going to take food. I need some food. Gives me some hobo stew. Take this. Thank you. Can I see what you have for sale? She has some nice clothes, um, but I don't think they're much cheaper, if cheaper than shops at all. Oh, you've got a dog. What's its name? His name's Bobby. With me being at work all day, he'd feel lonely at home. Technically, he shouldn't be here. Don't worry. I won't rat you out. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you said you have a small charity? You know, they say the city doesn't have money at the moment, so they make cuts in the wrong places. Darn. Couldn't they stop maintaining roads, for example? Why should the charity have to carry the can? I don't like it either, dear sir. That's why I'm running at least this small charity on my own. I see. Bobby looks a little restless, the dog. He'd like to go for a walk, but I've got soup going in the kitchen and have to watch it. Well, I could walk your dog. All right, but don't get too far. Let him do his business and return here. Now, in the beginning of our hobo adventure, this is important. Basically, every day we can walk this lady's dog. And if we do it quick enough, she'll also give us some money and some food. Otherwise, she just gives us like some shitty food. But we'll get we'll get a nice a big bowl of stew and uh, a couple bucks. And basically, we just run around a bunch with the dog. Uh, we don't dilly-dally too long. We can actually get our own dog eventually, but for now, we're just going to walk this one. My morale's broken. That's not good. Where's that stew she gave me? So, see, this gives us 20% poop. Uh, it only makes us a little sick because she's not a good cook. Uh, but it'll pretty much get our hunger back under control. 42 bucks. Got some bottles. This could get a little dicey. Actually, our morale's too low. We're going to slowly lose health all night, basically. But with just one stat in the red, we're not going to get too cut up. Also, no, forget it. Hello, did you know there's a new priest? You'll cry for sure. Must be hard on you, I know. But that's the universe's will, so you can learn something, you know? So it's not as bad as it may seem at first glance. Well, in that case, give me some money. Thank you. How much money do I have? We need 60? Yeah, ooh, actually, you know what? There's a, there's a snack shop right down here. Oh, one more bottle. One more bottle and we can buy a Playboy. Sir? My dick's not going to rub itself. Sir? I mean, it literally is. I need the magazine. He's gone. A couple cigarette butts. Let's not get too far away from where we started. The city's not necessarily big. It's just a matter of getting around. What do we got here? Box of wine again. How long do clothes generally last? I don't think they break naturally. They, I think they only break when we go through garbage. Damn it, I always do that. Hello, sir. Yeah, well, let's, we're just going to run in a straight line. Try to tire this dog out. Because I don't know the details. Shit. I don't know the details. Like it's like we can't double back or something. Or if it's just distance or time or something. But let's just really tucker this dog. Out. Like it's almost midnight. People are still strolling around. There's obviously not as many people as we saw earlier in the day. But some unfinished kebab. Oh, that'll be tasty. An apple. There we go. Just some scrap food. It turns into. All the shops are closing. But there's still some people out this late. I think some of the bars stay open this late as well. Yeah. So whiskey. Need some strained drinks still. Uh -uh. Dog walking progress. He's getting there. Oh, see, it's... The advantage of going out at night is there's nobody around to see us. And our morale's already in the shitter, so... Don't mind me, sir. So you'll find a lot of stuff when you steal. There's a chance that if it goes all the way down to zero, our health will get really fucked up. I normally don't let my stats go down that low. But, you know, normally my rich friend that begs for money just had a stack of Playboys back at the base waiting for us. Damn it. There's some more garbage cans. Ooh, some weird cheese. That's not a good idea. Boxed wines. Risky Cumpot. 
This compote has already been opened, but not eaten. Yeah, what you could do is you could uh, take your clothes off because then you can't rip your clothes. You're just a naked man going through a dumpster. Go away. Yep, now these guys are closed, so we don't have anything that we can do at nighttime. We won't die all the way, Justin, but our health will probably go down really quickly. So what we're going to do here is this is kind of a genius play on mine, my part. Uh, it's the middle of the night. Nobody's around. Uh, we're going to take all our clothes off because it's pretty warm out. And that way we can't rip our clothes while we go through the dumpster. So we're just a naked man. Just jump right in. We hurt ourselves, uh, but we don't rip our clothes. And it's easier to get health back than it is to get your clothes repaired. Look at that. We found some scrap iron we can sell. Um, and some food, some junk, another plastic bag, a lockpick, a bus ticket if we want to get around town a little bit quicker. I never take the bus, personally. Doesn't seem worth it. Some antidepressants, that's perfect, because we are depressed. Just a naked man taking some pills he found. We're a little tired. Um, we'll just sleep on a bench. Now, when you sleep, you get cold, and you'll wake up when you get too cold. And that's not a huge problem. Yeah, I think this will give us a real leg up, is just slicing our hands open while we climb around in a dumpster in the nude. Look at that, our dumpster diving just leveled up. That was a can of beer. Delicious. That was some fabric. I'm freezing. I mean, it's nighttime and I'm naked. We can clean that up, don't worry. Box of wine. Pizza box. We can kind of not purposely go on those since I'm cutting my hands up really fucking good here. Alright, take that. Ah, cool bottle! We can sell that. Alright, we're fucking freezing. Put your clothes back on. Now, fortunately, you don't regenerate warmth. This just stops the warmth from getting away. So we have to get back home. Give Meisner that stuff we found. Hello, miss. I'm just going through this. Oh, we walked the dog, too. I forgot about that. All right, we got to take a little detour here. I know for a fact that there's a fire barrel here to warm up on, but we can't be running around freezing in this weather. I'm very tired. We're actually getting tired, literally, which is causing our max stamina to go down. Throw a couple plank. Probably just, uh, no, just... Just the one newspaper should be enough in this weather, I think. I uh, no, that was a lie. We'll also burn a plank. I'm not na- yeah, we put our clothes back on, Justin, so... Now, all clothes do... is stop you from getting colder. We can never warm up by putting on extra clothes. And I've never done that before, taking my clothes off to go through the garbage. It wasn't as great as I was hoping because you hurt yourself instead of cutting your clothes. But because we can't fix our clothes right now, that was probably still a good idea. We're going to use a bunch of our bandages here because I can craft bandages with some of the fabric we found. Gives us a little crafting experience as well. This is another way to the charity. Yeah, just some of the, some of the routes through the city are just muscle memory for me at this point. So I might sort of go off. Uh, I might go off and start doing something that you don't understand. Hopefully, I don't do it too often. Some tempera paints for painting magnificent pictures. Now, unfortunately, there's pawn shops, but you can't just sell everything you find. So most items serve a purpose and will only be purchased by certain people, if at all. Now, we weren't, working, we weren't walking that dog for too long, so hopefully we get the maximum reward. 
We might not, because I got a little carried away with my naked dumpster adventure. I think next time, uh, I would wear our starter hobo clothes, because that basically acts as a buffer before we hurt ourselves, but we don't need those. I'm back with Bobby. I was beginning to worry that you wouldn't return what took you so long. I'm sorry, ma'am. I lost track of time nakedly going through the dumpster. So we get the shitty reward for this quest. It's either you get the good reward or just a reward. She never gets mad and, like, bans us from the charity, but... Had me quite worried. At least Bobby got some air here. Something for your effort. She gave us 50. Thank you, ma'am. I'll make sure to stop by in the future and check to see if you need any help. I'd be glad if somebody else took Bobby for a walk from time to time. I could do more work. Alright, so I mean, it's sun up, we work through the night, we're very tired, we're very sad. But we do have a quest to turn back into Meisner. We're basically going to kind of hang around him as he gives us a bunch of starter quests to give us recipes and uh, equipment. There's some thugs over there, so if I go over there, they'll approach me. They'll try to mug me. Sometimes you can talk your way out of it, but sometimes they uh, uh, will beat the shit out of you, or they just take your money. At this point, it's better to give them the money because we have none. Some electrical parts. We'll need that to craft. An old apple. So we leveled up our dumpster diving, so now we should be able to detect two before we get hurt. There it is. Oh, there's a mini game. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. We got an unlabeled can for our trouble. That's it. That's all we got out of that one. That's another shitty one. Stores should be opening now. They are. $113. I'm fucking sleeping like a baby today. One porno, please. And I'll buy the mat. So see, now we have a more updated version of the map. And as we find things, they'll appear on the map. So see, there's the charity. There's our second hobo outpost. There's the church. There's a fire barrel. There's a giant dumpster because those, uh, those are treasure troves. Uh, washroom to the gas station. There's a train station. We can try to beg for some money today, maybe. But I'm probably going to uh, jack off to this Playboy and then find a bench to sleep on first. Uh, now, we can put benches on our base for convenience, but benches in the city actually give us buffs. Uh, some help us get sober. Some make us more confident when we're begging. And we want a confidence one. We want to find a bench that makes us confident. It's pretty nice outside, so we shouldn't actually get very cold while we sleep. Um, later on in the wintertime, you pretty much can't sleep unless you're near a fire. You'll get too cold. But in the autumn, in the daytime, I think we can sleep relatively safely before we get woken up. See this bench here? This bench helps us get sober. There's a thug right there. Townspeople always walk. Thugs always stand still. Some scrap food. I remember these guys. If we befriend these hobos, they'll give me some of their leftover food because they're so jovial. Hey there, how are you? Good. Chilling here with my buddy Popeye. Nice and snug here away from people. By the way, all hobos have nicknames like stalkers, which I don't know if that's a Soviet thing. Hey, do you have something to eat? I don't have any. Sorry, buddy. Never mind then. Oh, really? That's odd. Normally he gives me stuff. Maybe I need to be more friendly. Actually, a little concerned about my health after using all those bandages in one stretch. There's a bit of a glare because I have my flashlight on still. There we go. We got the whole garbage that time. 
Right. Store's not labeled on the map. Um, yeah, it'll be hard to memorize all of them because there's so many stores. There's there's a lot of stores, Justin. That's why. Mm. So yeah. By the way, if you want to be a begging kind of hobo on your playthrough, this is the place to be because the train station just spawns people all day long. Did you know there's a ch uh, new priest at the church? Now you do. Have you heard about the Veiled Vindicator? What? It's some guy who runs around the city at night with a mask on his face. Media started to call him that. He's like some kind of superhero protecting the homeless and other people. Uh, money? God, it is really hard to get your begging up when you're low level. Unlike something like dumpster diving where you can just cut your hands up. These aren't benches. These are hostile architecture. Speaking of hostile architecture, this man's jawline. Did you know there's a new priest? Luckily, as the guy in charge of the, the garbage, I got really good at that minigame when we played. Are you talking to me? Just leave me be. I've had enough of annoying people for today. Well, pardon me, money. Thank you, 44. See, this, the, our current level of dumpster diving, this gives us a good chance. This gives us a good chance at those little ones. Here we go, confidence. We're going to sleep here. First, I'm going to read the porno because we're very sad. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we can make cardboard blankets that help us sleep faster. Uh, but we don't have them right now. The cop walked right by us because uh, the city's a shithole. Cops won't stop us as long as we're not stealing. So see, as the meter fills up, we'll hit thresholds that give us a buff. So if we let this bar fill up, we'll get plus five confidence and then plus 10 and then plus 15, which is just raw charisma. See, it's 12 degrees outside and I just got a little too chilly. So that's all we're going to get out of that. What I could have done was like um, this boxed wine. No, the boxed wine wouldn't have. There are things that will give you warmth and basically you want to eat or drink to get like that lingering warmth in your tummy and then you can sleep for longer in the cold hello okay. mm -mm. Mm -mm. we are gonna take a break from stealing shit though because that was we fucking shredded our morale in a single day i was not expecting that hello Streets are full of thugs nowadays. Where the fuck did they come from? It's dangerous being out in the streets after dark. Where's the police when you need them? Well, you look like a ghoul. That's probably why they attack you. Beg? Damn it. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. It's starting to rain. There's, um, to the left of our temperature in the top left there, you'll see that blue start to fill up. That's our wetness. And as we get wetter, uh, we get colder. Uh, we have some water resist, so it's going to take a while to fill up, but let's get out of the rain here. We're safe under the highway. Safe-ish. Okay, this hasn't refilled yet, but these these have a couple bucks. Now, the downside is this base, it's too low under the highway, so it's actually not safe. Right here... This fire barrel's covered, but the main base isn't covered. We need to build a roof. I'm going to go to this crafting bench because we can also dismantle some of the things we find. Like I'm going to crack open this can we found. It was filled with some food. And then we'll break down the can now that we've opened it for some extra parts. Uh, we're also going to place this chair, I think. It's just all for, it's just all for decoration, but we can at least pretend to look a little civilized while we do it. Yeah, I'm getting pretty wet. We'll use the fire barrel for a second to dry off. Let me see if this is refilled. It's all about just like getting a good route through the city for when the containers respawn. Do structures in my base degrade? No, it's nothing that complex. It's just a matter of uh, stopping your stats from degrading. I am soaked, so I'm going to get pretty chilly. Hey, regarding that life bringer, 
I think I do. I managed to save a little something. Now's your time to shine. All right, let's pour it all together. Shake, don't stir. That's really smart, thanks. Don't mention it. At least you won't dip into my supply. So now he gave us the recipe to make our own hobo brew. Lifebringer. Uh, which is actually quite strong. It's good stuff. Aren't you a little bit depressed from this place? What? Why? This is the greatest place in the world, you idiot. My very own hotel. Yeah, sure, but how about that view? That's not exactly a sea resort. Fortunately, it's not. It's much better. Great entertainment and a place to find a lot of useful things. What do you mean entertainment? Every day I find something interesting. People throw away absolute treasures. Treasure hunting's great fun, believe me. You can try it yourself, but watch out for shrapnels. Ha ha! So see, he's giving us a tutorial on going through the garbage, but we had to go through the garbage to get him the booze. Make the wrong move and your hand can end up in some nasty shit. Or you can tear up your clothes. Anyway, once you get better at it, come and see me. I can give you some intermediate advice. You look like you know a thing or two. I tried to look for some useful stuff in the trash. I think I'm getting the hang of it. See? Trash is a really good source of resources. People are dumb shits and throw out things that are completely fine. It takes a while to find something you actually need or want, but it's better than buying it. Keep practicing and maybe I'll be able to teach you something new. Sure, I like learning new skills. Um, how about that depression? Don't you mind being here all alone? What the fuck do you even care? Man, if you ever get depressed, come and see me. I'd like to see that myself. Mm. I wish I was here when I was really sad. You live here, right? It's been ten years already and this is my hotel. It's not great, but the price is right. At least you have somewhere to sleep. I'm not that lucky. That's not my problem, but you can't stay here. This is my spot and it's all booked up. Do you know where I can spend the night? If you have nowhere to sleep, at least don't sleep on the ground. The cold ground is going to eat you alive. Use benches or at least some cardboard bedding. Where can I get this bedding? You can make it or I can give you my old one. I don't need any more. Okay, give it to me then. Just like that? I don't plan on giving it to you for free. What do you want? I have a great new bed, but it's missing some springs. I bet you could find some around. I'll get you your springs. You better have that bedding already. Yeah, you'll get it once you bring the springs. You better not be pulling my leg. Chat? Not too long ago, Monty was looking for some stove he could fix up. I just found one in the garbage. I could take it to him, save you the trouble. That'd be great. Just make sure it actually gets there, okay? You can count on me. What do you got for... Ooh, he's got an old blow-up doll. Uh, I don't have the money for that. I actually do have just enough money for an old blow-up doll, but I don't want to buy a blow-up doll on principle. Uh, so he gave us a quest to deliver some broken appliance to Monty, who is a... Uh, he's a friendly hobo who fixes things for us and teaches us how to fix things ourselves. I happen to know where he is, so I want to get this out of the way, because I know for a fact that if we don't... If we get that quest from Maisner, because people give you quests randomly. If um, if we don't do this quest in time, like the dog, is he'll actually get mad at us. See, the fire barrel is going to warm us up. It's going to dry us off. Um, I really don't want to burn this much wood, but we can use some miscellaneous junk. See, junk burns for 15 seconds. Wood burns for 40. I'm going to burn a second wood. That'll help us dry off. I regret using that second because... Da, da, da. So yeah, I'm sleepy because I got too cold. So eventually we're going to want to build a bed or some sort of sleeping furniture and put it right here next to the barrel so we can sleep safely. I'm going to drink this coffee we found. That'll wake us up. And so will this life. Like, look at this hobo. Compared to, like, some beer is just morale. It's morale and we get drunk. But this one... Well, sorry, this is... A box of wine give us some temperature. So that's good. But this one is morale 20, warmth 80. This this warms us up more than wine we buy from the store. A box of wine. So this is good for when you're cold. It's good for when you're sad. It's good for when you're sleepy. And it gives us four willpower. And I can we craft any right now? We need five alcohol, five drink, and we can make our own. And then here's some other things we can make. A bench. A table, a stool, a makeshift stool, makeshift stool two different ways. A newish kitchen stove, that's because he just gave us a stove to deliver. The Guardian, a majestic protector. Um, things like this that just look weird, they're for um, completing milestones to level up our base. So it's like complex equipment bizarre. If we place a few of those, our base will level up and we'll get a new perk. A weight bench. A few drops of sweat never killed anybody. I'm not actually sure if we can work out. 
candles. Um, we could have used that can we found and made candles. It's fucking raining out. We're going to get wet again. We got to be careful. When it's wet out like this, you'll want to memorize the, uh, like the roof parts of the city and stay there. We're trying to get over to Monty. This is a favor. There we go. Package for Monty. He lives here under the highway. Let's try to stay out of the rain. What do we got there? A meal voucher. This can be used to get food in some places. I don't know who would give us food for that, but that might come in handy. Get out of the way, dude. So he should be right here. Yep, there he is. Under the under the highway, there's a little hobo settlement. We'll find uh, little hobo settlements like this as we explore. Look at that. We barely got wet because we uh, know our way around. Hey there, friend. How's it going? I don't want to alarm you, but it's going great. Why is that? Business is booming. I'm going to be rich come winter. Good for you, man. What's this business of yours? None of your concern. What do you want here anyway? Uh, Meisner sends you this old stove. Oh, perfect. Just put it over there. Okay. Here's something for your trouble. Thanks. Ah, a cigarette. Can we at least barter? Maybe if you show some goodwill and bring me a pack of smokes from the tobacconist. Merkers? Sure. That's just a brand of smoke. So we need to buy an actual, uh, like box of cigarettes for him Rain. hello they're all good 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 it's everything but chill man fuck chill a week ago a hobo was killed here true he was a guzzler so i could almost forgive the killer but the guy bled out on our doorstep shit happens shit's been happening an awful lot lately i've heard about murders in other parts of the city someone's killing the homeless so fuck chilling out oh lord what's up with the murders lately well, they're happening. Somebody from the Ford got murdered. Baron and Shrug both have stab victims in their crews, and somebody tried to poison Zaki's people. That sounds like someone's really out to get us. You bet, this is not normal. I'll watch my back. Oh, teach me. Here we go. So see if we can get our trust up with him. He can give us speech perks, and he can also improve our charisma permanently. Look at this. Improve charisma plus six, we'd need 90 trust. But we can get speech master, speech expert, strategy. That unlocks some dialogue options when we're begging. So it looks like we're going to have to do some quests to join his hobo gang. Are we able to form an empire of the homeless? Unfortunately, you're only just in charge of you. The best you can do is play in multiplayer. Not a chance. We don't have the space anyway. There's plenty of space. No, there's someone out there killing us off one by one. I don't trust anybody. I'm not in the business of killing people. Test me. A loyalty test? That's a new one. Know what? Money will show your true colors. Go see my people around the train station and collect a regular payment from them. A tax of sorts. Then bring the money. Uh, how will they know that you sent me? Just tell them that I said, Time to pay, mans and gentle ladies. Okay. Stop raining, too. Perfect. Um, We'll get a little sad, but these big ones tend to have a lot of shit in them. You know what? No, we can't. Can't risk our morale. We've already got enough stats in flux right now. Later on, we'll get a perk where stealing doesn't make us as sad, and that'll be a big one. Oh, some sheet metal for uh, building the base. 
Oh, a couple mini games here. Some nails. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. I really got to stop getting greedy at the end. Oh, boy. It was a jacket, which is actually worse than the fur coat. The fur coat on day one was a really good find. A sports jacket. Um, we're actually finding some clothes. There is a hobo, I happen to know, that will buy clothes for us. Normally you can't pawn clothes, but there is a hobo that will buy clothes from us. Let's get that tax. Mm -hmm. Hello? Ah. Last night we had a party at the community center. That sounds wonderful. Money? Okay, mm -hmm. fuck you. That's the good thing about begging is you get speech and begging. They're two separate stats. Party of community center. Mm. No. So eventually our speech will get high enough that we can converse okay. twice in a row, and that'll give us a very good chance to get the begging up there to like 70%. Vegetarian restaurant can't help you. Oof. Yeah, we get more when we succeed, but we get a little when we fail. Hello. Who bothers someone else? Excuse me. Money? No, well, we tried. Not interested in selling or stealing. Um, one strategy I'm going to try is you can make more money selling things to strangers on the street, but there's a pawn shop, and I think it'll be quicker to just go to the pawn shop when we sell stuff in bulk. Hello, I'll just pull it towards me like Scorpion. The universe is well, yeah. There's not a lot of variety in the dialogue, so once we see most of it, we can really blow through these uh, begging mini games. How are you? He's too drunk to talk to. Completely smashed. He's not one of the hobos we have to collect taxes from. I think it'll say tax collector. Yep. Three X's. Ciao. Crazy sent me. Time to pay. Mans and gentle ladies. Fuck that fucking crazy. We're our own masters now, so you won't pay the tax? Fuck off, you son of a bitch. Okay. Those second speech options, we need perks usually to even be allowed to click those ones, Justin. I've never got the stats to do the other conversation because I wasn't the one in charge of begging. Oh, speech leveled up. I've heard there's a lot of raccoons in the city because there are no natural predators to counter them. They call them invasive species. Really? I wonder if you could eat them. Beg? Oof. See, that was like a 10% boost to our speech success, I think. I have my flashlight on. Let's turn it off, even though it has infinite energy. Hello. School prepared for people like you, yep. Ah. So yeah, it's almost at the point where we can just double talk and it'll give us a really good beg chance. Did you know fasting can rid the body of all the bad things? I've been fasting in the name of our Lord for two weeks and I've never felt better. Oh. Oh, here we go. I do have enough willpower. Uh, this is embarrassing, but I have a favor to ask. My mother's dying and I don't have enough money for a bus ticket. Could you help me? Look, I'm not a heartless bastard. Maybe you're lying, but I don't want to be responsible in case. See, that gave us a huge boost to our bag. Not enough. Okay, sell. Okay, steal. Well, now I'll pick your fucking pocket, dude. I'm desperate. Take this energy drink. Careful. Pluck it out. And we back away. I didn't mean to bump into you. Goodbye. See, so like Bane asked earlier, is it just the one map? And there's no, it's, and it's not even that big, but you can see how much of our day we lose just trying to stay alive. So it's actually hard to cover a lot of ground. You're the ones I collect taxes from? Hey there, he's too drunk, goodbye. I think if I'm super shit-faced, I can understand their hobo language. Uh, but I don't want to get shit-faced. Uh, because when we're too drunk, they won't let us into the charity. So that's kind of a big deal. I think the guy that gives us food will give us food once we collect the taxes from him. Am I going to become the hobo king? I hope to become the hobo king. I've never gotten that far before. 
Crazy sent me. Time to pay mans and gentle ladies. This week wasn't really good. I'll have to let Crazy know. See, he gave us 200 crowns, which in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot of money, so it's not worth betraying that guy. How are you? Do you have any food? Don't have any. Well, fucking Christ. I don't know how to make that guy like me and give me food. Whoop. Where's the final hobo? He's all the way over there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We have some scrap iron we need to sell. There's a, uh, like a junkyard that will buy it off of us near our base. We'll go there soon. The sun's going down. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. Whenever I push my luck, that's when we find the shit tile. Empty. It's not always money. That had five. Some spare bucks. Hello? Just look what we have in the government. A decent person can't choose from an offer like that. I'd rather vote by not giving my vote to anyone. That's fair. Uh, failure. That sucks. What do you need? You look like you need help. Kind words are more than enough, but I also love money. All right, fuck you then. Get out of my way. Why should I fucking build a hobo base? You got a big enough lip for me to just crawl into. Look at that. Look at that jaw. Stay out of the rain, too. I am. Fat people are harder to kidnap. Stay safe. Eat lots here. Do you know where I could find some vegetarian restaurants? Sorry. Thank you. 23 bucks. It's not a lot of money, but... Every skill gets better as you use it. Okay, he's right here. This last hobo we need to collect the taxes from. And Justin, the guy that wouldn't pay, that's intentional. Is I, I remember doing this quest and he wouldn't pay before. Crazy sent me. Time to pay, mans and gentle ladies. Yeah, that shit. I'd gladly pay up. The thing is, though, I've lost my wallet while I was dumpster diving in the morning. Must have fallen right into the bin I was in. I have a bad back and can't really reach down there. Moron. I'm such a moron. All right, all right. Which dumpster? Well, it was some dumpster around the station. You really are a moron. I really don't have a single coin for you. Yeah, next time, throw yourself in the dumpster. You've lost your wallet around the station? Yeah. Must have lost it in some bin. All right. Does that pay? Yeah, go away. Why? You're scaring away the potential donors. All right, sorry. If I remember, he'll teach us how to be a better beggar. So when we reach higher level begging, he'll give us perks. So basically, um, if I'm remembering it right, is you can level up a skill indefinitely, but you don't get perks unless you pay a hobo to teach you. So it's like, you know, like level three speech, for example, doesn't do anything, but it lets me pay a hobo to make me better at speech. Uh, I th maybe not. Let's check our... I think... Uh... Yeah, there it is. Speech. So, yeah. See, so widens the greenfield in conversational minigames by one fraction. We'll never, we have to pay for that, but we'll get a little bit better at speaking to people when we beg passively. We don't have to pay for that part of it. So, he dropped his wallet, and we have to go dumpster diving to find it, but we're actually very bad at dumpster diving, so all the dumpsters are uh, not checked. That dumpster right there, at least. Oh, fuck. That's, those are the ones I was naked in. I think I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to... No, wait. I, I'm going to do the thing I said where we put on our shitty clothes and let those get cut up. Do I think the systems are deep enough to specialize in? You, you can generalize because um, there is enough time once you know what you're doing. I have a lot of money on me. Wow, 320. No, never mind. We have $200 we're supposed to give to crazy. So we actually don't have a lot of money on us. Um, so I like to, in, in a multiplayer settings, like my friends and I, we specialize in things like I specialize in dumpster diving and my other friend specialized in uh, begging. Uh, so I guess if you generalize your skills, your skills won't grow fast enough before winter.
Oh, look at that. My hat has lost some water resistance because it's been damaged. And we take off the hat. And we're just going to just reach in. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Because we've already been through this dumpster, we know where everything is. There's his wallet. Awesome. Just perfect. Let's see if any of these coats are better. Uh, these coats are all worse. I'm actually very tired as well. It's fucking cold out, though. And we still have that quest. If we if we had the cardboard blanket, we could probably afford to sleep in the daytime. Um, what are we doing? Give me, giving him his wallet back. That was actually very fortunate. I did not I did not do that on purpose. The naked dumpster to do the quest. That was just incredible hobo luck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There's a thug chasing us. He got us. What's going on? Give me your money now, you piece of shit. Oh, boy. I can't give him the money because it's the money we're guarding for crazy. Fuck off. You don't want to mess with me. The fuck are you trying to pull here, mate? Just give me your fucking money or I'll set you straight right here. Uh, he's going to fight us, but I think we have enough health that he won't kill us. Or we might die. Do your worst. He's going to beat the shit out of us because we have no combat skills and no gear. Attack. I hit him for four damage. Hit me for 23. We're not doing good. <sighs> Do I have any bandages? I have quite a few, actually. Thank Christ. All right, we're back in action. I've never been able to beat a thug, because it's a bit of an investment to get the equipment. That didn't break the quest, because he doesn't take the money. He just beats you up and leaves in disgust, so... We basically traded those bandages in exchange for keeping our money. I found your wallet, you asshole. Literally got my skull cracked open. Got your wallet right here. You're a hero. Thank you. Thank you. Don't lose it again. I had this in the wallet for good luck. Keep it. A talisman of recovery. These let us restore some of our stats when we die. So we want a couple of those in reserve just in case. Thanks, old man. And the money for crazy? Here you are. Hey, can you teach me how to be better at begging? What do I get out of that? Well, I would pay you. Well, why not? I'll even give you a little discount. Nice. So, see, if I get to level 4 begging and pay him $400, he'll give us a perk. Which is a 30% chance that they won't e they won't just give me money, they'll give me an item out of pity. So like some food or um, uh, a drink. And that's, that's, that's a big deal. And this one is then we have a 70% chance. So if we can get our begging high enough and we get those perks where people just give us food out of pity, is like we'll be in really good shape. That's pretty much like the begging hobo build will come online at that point. And then we're going to go give this money to Crazy. Uh, because he... Oh, look, there's another friendly Russian bot. I forget what Crazy gave us. What did he teach us? He teaches us something that I wanted. But it's a tax collection. Uh, there were a few bumps. The so one guy didn't want to pay me. Henry lost his wallet and his mind. There was a good ending, though. The wallet has been found, and Henry sent 200 crowns. Raskins declared independence, and he won't pay anything. That's not good. What about Chico? Chico gives money, too. This is not good. The clan's crumbling. Oh, not good at all. In any case, thanks for running that little errand. You can pick out something in our jump pile over here. I'm going to take this tattered mattress, because then we can make a bed for our base. That's fucking... That's wonderful, actually. It's yours. Thanks. I can put it somewhere in my hideout. Uh, requests restore reputation apparently his job will restore my reputation with people uh, teach me right he teaches a speech um, so see 20 trust and one rum I think this gives us a bunch of raw experience every time we give him rum strategy is the one that helps us uh, sweet talk people when we beg that's 30 40 trust is permanent charisma 
So 50 trust is the speech passive. And when we were looking at it, speech just made the uh, the back and forth, like the hot cold mini game, bigger. That we're kind of good at that, so we can skip these. But I want the charismas. Strategy will really help when we beg, uh, but we can't do that. What are you gonna do about Raskin? He's been pissing me off for far too long. He's just messing around the train station. I've heard he started pickpocketing. He's just gonna draw the attention of the police. Fuck, he's like those damned guzzlers. Fuck them too. He needs to be taken care of. I agree. Questions how? He and his crew don't really have a solid base, but he's quite strong and really dangerous. We could get somebody to beat him up for us. Where do we get somebody? Wait. I know this one guy who owes me a favor. They call him Razor. Stupid name, but he could help. Where's Razor? You'd go talk to him? All right. You can find him somewhere around the church. Tell him I say hello and want him to repay the favor. All right. Now, is Meisner going to be salty because no springs? The spring quest isn't time, so we can run home and get those springs now that the sun's going down. And we have a mattress. I think the mattress is too broken to sleep on, but maybe not. We might need to fix it up before it's actually functional. It might just be furniture for now. Bunch of those phones rolled over. So how much money do we have? We have $144. I really need to get our um, our stats in shape because our health's pretty low still. We need cloth to make bandages, and we don't have a lot of cloth on us. We can maybe buy like a medical first aid kit and get our health topped up, but. And I know what you might be thinking, but we don't regenerate health while we sleep. That's a perk we have to unlock in the base. I'm quite tired, though. I'm getting so tired. I don't have any food. We have some questionable garbage food we found that I really don't want to eat because it's going to make us sick. But I... So, see, this makes us go a little poopy. It's plus two poopy and plus one food sickness. But this is plus three food sickness. I'm actually going to eat all this just to get us out of the red. Then we just have sleepy is in red. Let's see if any of these boxes respond. They did. We still have to sell that scrap iron to the junkyard. But all the stuff down here should have respawned now. So we can grab some more 2x4s. Oh, electrical parts. That might be good. I need the springs and the springs should be spawning in all these uh, underpass junk containers some super glue for huffing I think super glue is actually for crafting I never found a way to huff glue it's going to be really hard to get around because our stamina is so low because we're tired oh there's a spring we only need three they'll just show up in regular containers Sort of trying to like toggle the sprint on and off because I think it's one of those games with some styrofoam. I think this is one of those games where if you deplete your stamina completely, it takes longer to come back. See, there's a bunch of wood planks that'll keep us warm for tonight. Another bottle. I'm not stealing so we don't get sad. Some tarp, which will help us build stuff for the base. We actually have a quest for the base right now to just build anything, like any sort of wall. Barter. Oh, there you go. Comfy bedding. A perfect place for napping. That's $100. And he also sells a shiv. Oh, that's actually a decoration. It's not a real shiv for fighting. This armchair gives us some uh, resist as well. This is different from the other chair we have, so this would give us two sources of water resist. That would also give us water resist. I think our stats go up to 100. I might be wrong. They might go over 100. So like, you would want cold resist 100 at least, but maybe it goes over 100. Let's dry off a bit here. Still looking for some springs. There's another one.
There's the final one. And then, like I said, oh, we're actually overweight. We're going to have to drop some stuff off at the base. Oh, I didn't see this container. Some more stuff. So, our inventory is weight-based, but our bank is slot-based. So the trick is to put heavy, like, big stacks of things in the base to keep us lightweight. Because I think we have some just, like, big piles of junk and, like, styrofoam and wood weighing us down right now. That was... About that package for Monty, I delivered it. Great. I'm just glad I didn't have to carry it there myself. His trust is going up, and you want this guy to be your friend, because I think we eventually talk him into giving us a discount on uh, when we respawn and have to buy our stuff back. Cool. About those springs? Got him right here. Ah, now he'll give us the cardboard bedding to help sleep. I'll put one here, one here, and voila, I'm going to sleep like a princess. Where do I sleep? Here. I've upgraded to something better. <laughs> but it served me well. Thank you, Meisner. <laughs> And now that he gave me it, I know how to craft my own. Don't mention it. Just remember, don't try to sleep on the ground without any sort of bedding. The cold will wake you up and you won't sleep for shit. I know, you don't have to tell me that. Don't tell me you even cook here. Rolls aren't enough for you? In the summer, yeah, but in the winter, you need some solid food. It smells nice, at least. Don't be even looking at that. You're a little prick, let me tell you that. Come on, just a taste. Fuck, at least bring some ingredients. Ain't nothing here for free. Do something productive for the system. What do you need? Go through a few dumpsters and take anything edible, and buy some rolls. It's not the same without them. Rolls are the best. About the food? Where can I get these rolls? You have to bake them. Are you serious? In a shop, you idiot, buy them. Oh my god. Barter? He's got the blow-up doll still. Okay. So right now he's a quest where we get a roll and a bunch of garbage food, and he shows us how to make hobo stew. But we're going to try to drain his hourglass and try to fish up some random quests. Another plastic crate broke. I don't have anywhere to put my stuff. So I put it all in those little crates and eventually they break. I can get you some more. So that they're, they're called favors when they're the random side quests. And we can have several on the go. So he wants a crate and then the main quest is the food. We're going to try to scrounge up another one. Sure, why not? Hey, what's that over there? Point suggestively... In a random direction, Christ, this is going to be one of those minigame things and I rob from him. It's a bad idea. Ooh. An ornate cigarette case. Oh, that's a bad idea. Just take the cigarette. Oh, that's a bad idea. I'm not a good thief. Come on. <laughs> Leveled up my stealing. Made me a little sad. What? Where? Oh, must have been my imagination. Stole a cigarette from him. But, you know, you do what you got to to survive. Fourteen degrees. I guess it's nighttime. It was like seventeen degrees in the day, which is pretty nice. Uh, we can build out here, but I am going to build under the roof. Uh, da -da -da -da. Tab start building. Structures usable. Shit, we can't act. What the fuck? Where's the bed? Tattered mattress is not something I can use apparently. Big mattress. Okay, it's the tattered mattress. Some old textiles, and then I can craft that, and we really need that. I can fix my clothes. We're going to break down some stuff we found. I can break... Yeah, I'm going to break down these clothes because we need bandages out of them. But these clothes we're going to sell to the, the clothes hobo. Perfect. Now we can make the mattress for sleeping on. Because it's got this little icon that means we can actually use it. This is going to be tricky to make, maybe. Um, when we fail the crafting mini game, we get sleepy. That actually wasn't too bad at all. There we go. And then, now that we're in our base, we go to this, which is our bank. And we put away the junk. We'll automatically access this inventory when we're in our base. So if we need to craft stuff at home... It's all going to be waiting here for us. The one downside is sometimes people will ask you for a favor, and if you can't give them the item right away, the quest fails. So that's why you'd want to carry around like a couple pieces of tarp and like some booze. 
keep the scrap iron. I'm a little peckish, but I don't think uh, we wake up when we're hungry. I think we just wake up when we're cold. My health is going down. That's not good. We might have to just go buy a first aid kit in the morning. But it's also because... Oh, fuck. I see what the problem is. because I'm so hungry and sleepy. Um, shit. Eat a bunch of garbage. Okay. We're going to sleep this off. We can use a blanket multiple times. Oh, nope. Fuck. I got too sleepy. I hit a health threshold there. We might actually die here, but we have that medallion, which gives us our stats back. Gotta hurry up and sleep. Um, I don't think low health makes our health go down. What's this? There's no secondhand store that pays more for clothes. They won't buy our clothes, but there are secondhand stores to sell us clothes. I kind of regret making this bed now, because I could use some bandages to heal us. We're nice and toasty, though, so we should be able to sleep all the way. But yeah, fucking our health is a huge problem right now. But if we do die, our stats will go down. But we do have that one amulet that we got from the quest, and that will restore our stats for us. So basically, if we die, we're right back where we were. Um, we'll have to buy our stuff back from Miserman. We're not that rich right now. We might have fucked ourselves over that one day when I just mm -hmm. dug around in the garbage way too much. I'm in a weird state right now because I think I used the bed right as I got up from being injured, so I'm still in the injured state. All right, so yeah, our energy is at 100, and we're hungry again. Uh, there's a good chance that we'll get so hungry we just black out. It's the middle of the night. Nobody can sell us food. This is not good. Uh, what we're going to want to do, actually, is because we drop all our stuff and Meisner steals it from us, is we want to put everything we can in the fucking bank. We're going to lose our really nice, uh... I don't even want, I don't want to lose the map or the flashlight either. Um... Fuck, okay. Um, there, there's, there's one place that might be open this late. We're going to risk it. There's like a Chinese food restaurant nearby. Um, oh, yeah, I can afford a burger. Problem solved. Hurry. The burger. We're fine. Oh, there we go. I'm about to shit myself, though. 60% <laughs> poopy. Uh, so, two more rolls for the quest. So, yeah, if you have time, uh, being a hobo isn't that bad. But if you're desperate, you do need money to get out of trouble. Just bought a convenience store hamburger, saved my life. It's cheaper to take a shit at the charity, so I'm gonna do that. Um, but just that? Like, we're already in good shape. We're a little sad again. Um, I can afford a porno. I really don't want to buy another one right now, because we're. that's all gonna be all our money again. probably going to try and wait this out because you want to poop at the last possible second because you only pay once no matter what. So you just want to you want to wait till you got a real big loaf in there. Oh fuck that's a thug. Here's a trick. If, if you're getting chased by a thug you can go inside a building for a second and he'll reset. I'm not sure if this counts. Shops normally can't. 
Fuck, he's still coming for some reason. Nope, he gave up. Okay. He actually just had to go take a shit himself. That reminded him. So yeah, ideally we have a little food on us, so you have an emergency reserve for when you find yourself in that situation again. But we got out of that with a little burger time. Fitting, I suppose. Cut myself. Ah, what am I doing? This is a pawn shop, by the way. Um, we're going to sell our stuff here instead of crafting and trading it to people. Hey, everybody. Nice little shop you have here. Yeah, I guess. I make sure I have everything I need and that doesn't cost a fortune. You can have a look around. You buy stuff too? Sure, I buy only when it's not trash. Got it. That's nice. I might get something for you now and then. No problem. Just don't bring me any trash. Sure thing, boss. No trash. I like your shop very much. Do you have any customers? Eh, it's been pretty rough lately. Not what it used to be. Tell me about it. Only takes me one look to know all about people. I take you don't have a place to live, am I right? Well, I'll sleep anywhere, but always on the street. Got it. I'm Anatoly. You don't have to call me sir or anything. Listen, I'd honestly like to know what people think about me now. They seriously don't come here as much anymore. Well, if I were you, I'd want to know too. I told you, you don't have to call me whatever. Anyway, you, my friend, can actually help me with that. I mean, you can be my eyes, my ears. Snoop around. Ask people about Anatoly and then come and tell me what you found out. Shouldn't be a problem. I meet a lot of people outside. Sometimes we even talk. Glad to hear that, my friend. If you happen to need anything, come and do your shopping here. Okay. Um, his stuff's actually pretty expensive, but we can sell him. Uh, so we can find, like, broken toasters in the garbage and then fix them and then pawn them. But we'll need a lot of levels in crafting for that. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a Chinese food restaurant. Asian Bistro. So she's open at least till like midnight. And we can buy that. 40 food for 90 bucks. Oof. It's actually pretty pricey. That's what that that's the uh, trade off, I suppose. This is the laundry, but remember they'll wash our clothes at the charity, so this isn't good. Yeah. That's for when you're in a hurry cuz like I said the charity's kind of an awkward spot. And here is a uh, nice little everything shop, but we're very poor, so we don't want to waste our time with that. What we got to do is get our hand... Actually, do I have the building blocks for bandages? I don't. I need some old textiles, which we get from breaking down clothes, which reminds me we can go sell our clothes. Except I left them in the bank, so we're going to go buy. Not all food adds to the poop meter. So the tool tip here... This tooltip won't show you everything. You want to actually see what it does to your stats here. So it'll say like plus 40 food, but it won't say how poopy it makes you. It says over here how poopy it makes you. Let's tell Father Burry and we convince enough people to come to the church, by the way. Could you please help me? Oh, God, you look horrible. You should go to a hospital. I don't have insurance. Ah, true that. But wait, I've known this one doctor who had a private practice at home. You can try your luck there. I think his name was Dr. Handsome. Where is he? It was somewhere up at Zizkov, in one of the old houses, on the ground floor. Zizkov. I've never gone to the church when I've been in low health. I normally have enough bandages when I played in multiplayer. About those sheep? I found them. I can see in your eyes that you speak the truth. You fulfilled your holy duty. Praise be. I help where I can. When you see Sister Agnes, ask her for a bowl of broth and tell her I sent you. Well, I'll make a detour for that. So... If you went down the street and did the church quest quick enough, he would tell you where the charity is on your first day, but you'd have to know. What are you looking at, if I may be so bold? I'm looking at that hole you've got on your sleeve. Oh, this? I'm used to it, Reverend. In case you had a problem with maintenance of your clothing, I could recommend you one retired seamstress, one Mrs. Emka. She is a good heart and she'll gladly help you. If you captivate her with a gentleman's charm, she won't be able to refuse. Well, maybe she could help me. That would probably kick me out of a regular tailor's. Where can I find this Mrs. Emka? Not far from here. She lives in one of those old houses in the Art Nouveau district. The entrance to her house can be found in a dark alley. Tell her I send greetings. Oh. I can tell you one trick of how to get on the good side. She loves carnations. Thank you. So now we know about a seamstress to fix our clothes and a doctor for when we're hurt. But we have money trouble. Did you need help with anything? 
Uh, Sister Agnes could use help. We do need to go walk her dog. And could you please bless me for some morale regeneration? Because it's getting a little low. Yeah, we're 29. That'll buy us a little time. So we're going to stop over in our base here because our items teleport and we're going to scoop up our scrap iron and uh, the clothes. Hello, uh, sir. That's enough. Okay, I need yep, the clothes. And I also gave you the map and that. Okay, good. Seems like morale is the hardest. Morale is kind of hard. It's because I steal sometimes, but... You mostly keep your morale up by getting drunk, and we're a little uh, low on items right now, basically. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Excuse me, miss. Uh, <laughs> she saw me digging around the garbage, doesn't want to talk to me. Ah, she's closed at this hour. Ah, not worth it. Ah, what am I doing? That's locked. So let's see. Retired seamstress. It shows me where she lives. Where's the doctor? Charity in need? No. Seamstress. Where's the doctor quest? So yeah, here we go. Roof over your head. Use crafting to build any structure from the shelter. So a roof or a wall. And we might have enough stuff for that. But like a friend army, why does my head hurt? Where's this crate for private charity, retired seamstress, holy mission, market research fees. So he said somewhere in Zizkov, so it's got to be somewhere around here. Really, just waiting for the charity to open up at this point. Yeah. Our health is a huge problem. Let's see if I can actually craft something to finish that quest. It's actually really fucking cold out. Um, I will burn one more piece of wood. Eight degrees. I'm pretty cold. The Our shoes are shit. Our shoes are all water resist. Our pants aren't that great. Pants are mostly for begging. The coat's also good at begging. We have a lot of good charisma gear. I should maybe focus on begging for a day or so. Scrap iron we need to pawn. We've got some bottles that we can sell. And then we, we, we still have to go talk to the clothes hobo. And Mazner will teach us how to make some hobo stew when we bring in these rolls. Right? Yes. Scrap food, five, roll, three. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Crafting bench should be over here. Perfect. I'm trying to make under shelter. Shit. Actually, don't have any shelter available just yet. Crazy how I'm barely smelly, but it's, you mostly have to hit those bad tiles, Justin. The the like the fish bones and the dog shit. If we were going through every dumpster all the way, like that. See, that's. Ew, ew, green is stinky. Orange is we take durability damage on our clothes. That's durability. That's stink. So if we were dumpster diving more prolifically, we'd be smelling a lot. Basically, 
Um, well, the problem is, is if our clothes get too ripped, we'll have to pay that seamstress to fix our clothes for us. And we're a little strapped for cash, but... If we have soap to get clean, we have minus 10 odor, which we're going to use right now. See, if you have enough soap, you can keep your stink at bay. And stink's a bad one, because if your stink's too high, people won't let you beg, and most stores won't let you in. How's the hobo life? Eh, it's a little touch and go right now. And are there thrift stores for me to buy clothes And There are a lot of clothes for me to buy store. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of clothes for me to buy stores in. There's a lot of stores that sell clothes, but we're very poor. Uh, generally, you want to go visit. I think there's a couple of thrift shops and see if they have something nice every few days. And this guy we're going to go see, the hobo that will buy clothes from us, is he can have uh, really nice stuff on sale because he won't charge as much as a store. So I happen to know where this guy is. God damn it, I'm sad again. We're going to go see Meisner because uh, he wanted to talk to us when we were sad. And we can cook the food. But that was the police station over there. That's where we go if we get arrested for stealing. And the guy that buys clothes lives behind the police station. Yeah, we got to be real careful with our stats right now. This is, uh, I managed to keep my stats in good shape, but my friend, when we played multiplayer, the one that wasn't begging, the one in charge of the base, is like, he refused to fix his stats on principle, so he would constantly get blacked out from getting hungry and drop dead, so his stats were at 40% max. Um, I, I'm sure he was miserable, but he stubbornly refused to live a more comfortable hobo life. We are in terrible danger. It's 18%. I'm amazed our health went down so fast again. I have money for another porno, Megan. We might have to buy one. Just. Uh, Meisner, I want to kill myself. I recommend the high bridge. They installed some barriers there, but you can climb over them quite easily. How do I get rid of this mood? Mood? We can always drink your sorrows away. That's what I do anyway. So you can smoke a cigarette. When I'm feeling a bit down, I open a bottle of wine, smoke a pack, and everything's right with the world again. That's got to be expensive. Why? You know how to make your own life bringer? You can do the same with smokes. You don't have to buy anything if you know what to do. How do I make a cigarette? Just squeeze any remaining tobacco from the cigarette butts you find and roll it into a thin paper. Interesting. Meisner? I'm still feeling a bit under the weather. Here, take a sip. Yeah, I'm going to drink this. Better? I do feel better. Morale 50. Thanks, homie. Uh, about that food. I found it. Perfect. You need to pick and choose only the best stuff. Throw away all that nasty shit. When you know what to do, you can have a luxurious feast every day. This doesn't look like a feast. Yeah, this shit is what happens when you don't know what to do, which you don't. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. And you need better food. Where do I get better food? Yeah, I tell you, and you'll keep it all for yourself. I'll find it on my own then, asshole. Be my guest. And if you want to cook up the real shit, talk to Fester in the slum. He used to be a butcher and a cook. He's real good. Sounds good. I think I'll stop by. Oh, that radio looks nice. Why don't you turn it on? Because a piece of shit doesn't work. And I'm too lazy to go see Monty. Who's Monty? I've met Monty already. What's his deal? This one bloke who knows his way around electronics and shit. He usually hangs out on the other side of the train station. That's not too far. Well, it's not. You see, Monty doesn't like me. Asking him to do something for me would be like feeding swine pearls. I'll take the radio to him and I don't say it's yours. Why not? If you do that for you, I'll make you some tea. What's tea for? I feel I'm coming down with something, so I'm going to make myself a pot. I've been using that as a cure-all for years now. My grand's recipe. I want a sip of that, just out of curiosity. Only if you sort out that money business. Okay, okay. Do you know about some jobs? Fuck jobs. I live off the dumps. But if you want to work yourself to death, try the labor office. A lot of us do some odd jobs here and there. I could do that. Ah, oh, he's got an old toaster today. He's got an old computer. Uh, request? Do you have any health? Uh, no. Our health is 17%. Could be worse. Actually, the grub will give us a little bit of health. I desperately need to take a shit. Um, the charity should be open, though. We have to drop this off at Monty's. We still have to sell the scrap metal. Scrap metal's over this way, which is... Uh, 
I'm just gonna hope I can get to the charity before I shit myself. Mr. Kotler, I have some stuff I'd like to sell by weight. That was not a lot of money. I think he gives you $3 for each piece of scrap metal you find, but that item serves no other purpose, I think. We have to get to the charity real fast. Walk the dog. We can walk the dog over to the clothes hobo, and we also have to give that broken radio to Monty. It's a busy day today. Kind of hoping I can pause the game because I need to step away for a second to drink. There's a lot more reading and talking than I was expecting in this game. My throat is parched. See, it says right there in the top left, shrapnel's left seven. So I don't know where they are, but there's seven tiles left that can hurt me in that dumpster. Does this game have a story? It's more like a sandbox. Have you heard about Anatoly's Pawn Shop? Oh god, here you go. What? <laughs> Sell you this bus ticket for 15 bucks? Deal. Every penny counts. And I will, I'm actually going to take the clothes for today and sell them to the hobo. Can I have something for free today? Clothes? A wind cheater. Oh, father sent me to see you. Father Burian, I helped him get more visitors to the church. He told me to see you about some broth. In that case, I'm glad there are still kind hearted people out there. Here's your broth. So... Not only does broth help our hunger, broth also helps us warm up and it keeps us warm for a few minutes. And I've never learned that recipe. You look busy. That's because I am. Ever since the shelter burned down, there's been a deluge of poor souls that can't take care of themselves. I can't handle this many. I'm afraid I might pass out soon. Jeebus. I heard a camp has popped up near the old sugar refinery. Could you check it? Sure. I'll walk the dog again today. Feel free to make the walk a bit longer. The little rascal sleeps when he's tired. Don't worry, I'll tire him out. What do you have for sale today? That's a nice jacket. 300 That might be a nice hat. Oh, some shoes. These have a little more cold resistance on them, so I'm going to buy these. We gain... We lose some water, so... These are not a good idea if it starts raining, but that'll help us stay warm for a little longer. Okay. We got the dog. Oh, fuck. I do have to poop. Good memory, Justin. I need to take a shit. Holy Christ. Just 10 cents. Let me in. Thank you. Number two is at zero. See, that's just your pooping stack, because assume that you piss your pants or just go when people aren't looking. But number two, you have to go inside. Eventually, um, we get a perk like called Gutsy or something, and then we'll just take a shit in the corner in the alley. Or we can build a toilet for our base. But for $10, we just want to always kind of be near that part of town where we got to take a shit. I should be begging on my way over there. Yeah. See, now it's we have to walk him for five, not three. I always get a little lost when I go looking for this hobo, but he is... Oh, hello. Have you heard about the pawn shop? Oh, thanks. Where have you been living? I'm building a makeshift shelter. The furnishings are not exactly amazing, though. Well, then I might actually have a tip for you. I've seen some old furniture in a hallway at my job. Try asking there. Maybe they're throwing it out. Where is it? Met Metropole Cinema. Back entrance. Thank you. I don't know where the movie theater is. 
I don't speak Czech. You mean the junk store? Anatoly was a good bloke, was? They say he packed up. I used to go there when it was still open. It's open. That's awesome. Thought he'd closed down. I didn't even know where I heard that. Well, somebody said it somewhere. That's good news then. Well, that sucks. Ooh, some soap. That did look like a cinema. He said the back door, so if it's this way, it would be around back. There's some good stuff to steal in here, but we have some morale trouble. Well, watch out for thugs when you're in these alleys. No, not there. There's another hobo outpost here. Shelter in the demolished block? That's the third one. I think there's one more hobo fort that we can build on, but I think we'll probably mostly be using the one by the charity. Is this it? There he is. Hello, friend. Hello there. It's a nice slum you have here. It's seen better days, but all that's going to change real soon. How come we don't know each other yet? That's a good question. They call me Shrug. Nice to meet you, Shrug. Can we barter? Why not? I was born to do business. Coincidentally, I have my own little market stall with clothes. You don't say. It's a nice box you have there. You have treasure in there? I don't know, actually. It's been left behind by the bastard who fucked everybody over here. He left for Ziskov and never came back. Box is unbreakable. Have you tried using a drill? We tried a pry bar, a sledgehammer. We won't get it without a key. Hmm. Barter? See, look at this. A venerable coat, a jury rigged coat. It's already seen many winters. 15 cold resist, 15 water resist. 40 pockets, 14 defense. Sport pants. Plastic garbage poncho. You can wear that in the rain. Look at all that water resist. Stylish work shoes. That's mostly defense for fighting. Anyways, we're going to sell this stuff. $6. Don't see. $10 for a free coat we got at the church. $12 for this one. $40 for this fancy jacket. That's 10 charisma. Barely better than this. It's not worth it. So we'll do that. And then I can live with our current inventory capacity, so I'm going to sell this as well. Request? Can I wash myself here? Can I take a shower? Sure, wash up. Look at that. If we can get over here, we can shower for free. So that gets our odor down to zero. Also, please tell me it pauses when I press escape. Game is still running. I desperately need a drink and I need to go to the bathroom, much like my hobo. We're actually going to pop out to the main menu for a second, unfortunately. I can't waste too much time and I will be back in a moment.
All right, let's hop back in there. Oh, what are we doing? I need to find the doctor. Characters? Mr. Handsome is what he was called, I think. All right, he's not on the map until we find his house. That's not good. We might have to waste money on, like, a first aid kit. Let's not get greedy. There's a thug right there. Nice try. Oh, mini game there. It really sucks that I don't have more health because we should probably just kamikaze some of these dumpsters. Wet wipe. I'd love a bandage. An empty jerry can. Go put that in the base. That's enough. Shit. Doesn't hurt at all as long as it just. You know what? I don't think we ever hurt ourselves. I think it just rips your clothes or makes you smelly. So it's yeah, rip, rip. I think as long as our clothes have durability, we can just go through the whole dumpster. What's the lightning tile? The lightning tile is to auto succeed, Justin. That's our willpower. Uh, but our willpower caps at two right now, so we can't actually force the dumpster mini games. Um. Or no, our morale's not great, but we can probably go a little longer. Life bringers don't actually give us life, but we should be able to make the hobo stew. Hobo stew, I need a roll, which the tobacconist should yeah, sell, or is it the snack stall? Snack stall sells it. The hobo stew should give us a little health to get us out of the uh, the danger zone. Leave me. I'm checking developments in the stock market. Don't fucking lie to me. Ooh, yeah, I'm not going to risk an 8% steal in front of the police station. There's a dumpster diving level. We needed that. Uh, we should be up to what, three or four warnings it'll give us now. And then I think level three or four we can buy a dumpster diving pack. Well, the dumpster diving pass is a pretty shit. No, that's not true. The later ones are, the bottom ones are junk. Oh, fuck, we were walking the dog that whole time. We're going to miss the good reward again. I need a roll, but we're also going to sell you some bottles. Shit. Maybe. I, I guess I did walk away to grab that drink. But I don't know if we can max out the dog walking in time for the good reward. She gives us like 80 bucks if we do it fast. Those are our three warnings, but look at how much extra ground we cover with just one more warning. I think we can... Oh no, what am I doing? I don't do that. That's enough of that. Try to do some desperate begging in front of the train station. I am building a makeshift shelter. I work at the offices of the Europa 2 radio station. It's a huge modern building on Veslaska Street. Just ask there. I know some of those words. Man, I feel I have not had a successful beg for the longest time. Even against Easy's. Suck him towards me with my hobo aura. You got me in a good mood. I settled a deal with an important client and bought a new car. Good for you. Money? Fucking good with my ass. All right, that was the dog. Let's get home to the charity and see if uh, we get the the good reward. Even the bad reward, she'll give us a couple bucks. But oh, 
Oh, fuck. We got to go see Monty, too. I think because it's a quest and not a favor, I think we don't have to worry about the radio being timed. Very concerned about my health. Um, I'm getting sad, so let's ask the church for help. Uh -huh. Request a blessing. Bless me, Reverend. Thank you. I think now that I've befriended him a little bit, we can actually get, ask for a bigger blessing, so we'll get more health regeneration. But it takes more of his hourglass. So by doing the baby blessing, we sort of screwed ourselves out of that for the day. Uh, I should be able to get one more now that I've leveled up. Nope. Yeah, it's just a little bit of odd. Yeah, uh, on my multiplayer playthrough, because my one friend was rich, is sometimes uh, he would just buy me some soap, and I would just go, I'd go all in on those dumpsters, just check every tile, wouldn't even play the mini game aspect of it, just approach it like a grid, and you find a lot more stuff that way. But I think by ourselves, we won't have enough soap to wash up. You probably take a shower though, I suppose, huh? I, th I think I have to double talk. These 30% bags are not going our way. Okay, fuck you. Come on, good reward. I don't know how long I've been out there. Back with Bobby. That was fast. We didn't dawdle. She gives us some stew and 80 bucks and our trust goes up. Something for free? What do you need? Um, something to wear. A deluxe sweatshirt. Hello? A deluxe sweatshirt is... Um, we lose a little bit of cold resist, actually, so we'll just sell this. Back to Shrug was his name, and there's the broth. Oh, health 20. Health 20, food 40. This is perfect. It deals with our illness because it's very good for you. It gives us a bunch of, uh, it gives us the warmth buff, which is, I think, extra cold resist, or we actually regenerate warmth. I'm not sure. But the food and the health is wonderful. Gets us out of the danger zone for health. So, see, as long as we walk the dog quickly. No, sorry, that was from, that was from something else. So there's a tiny chance she'll give us the broth if we do the dog quickly. She usually just gives us the hobo stew here. But even then, this is 10 and 30. Once our hunger goes down, we'll eat this, and that'll give us 10. That puts us at 57 health, so we went from in trouble to not in trouble. I think I can make cigarettes. Recycled smoke? Yep, junk and cigarettes. Let's make a few of these for some crafting XP. Okay, there's that. Make a grub. Make some homemade booze. Don't mind me just distilling moonshine in the street. What's that? And then what do we have here? We've unlocked the big mattress. Which, I already have one of those. We can upgrade that in the base. I've, yeah, I've, I've never upgraded furniture, so I'm not sure how to do that. We can make some weapons if we want to fight thugs, but we actually don't want to fight thugs. And then, I, is there anything that I'm close? Work, shoddy roof is probably the thing we're closest on. Um, I can't see my resources because we're not in the base, but we actually have more than that in the base waiting for us. Okay, there's a bunch of the cities we haven't been to. Is this the Bioshock mini game? It's similar, I suppose. I I don't think regular people get mad at us. Um, the actual cop will get mad at us, and certain, like, industrial areas have, like, a guy on guard that'll get mad if he sees us. But just, like, things like this in the street, I think it's just the cop we have to worry about. This is bad. Damn it. We're in. But see, because we uh, we had to pick it, a little more shit to find. And it actually, because there's a lot of stuff in this, we're going all in. I don't care if I fucking slice my hand up. 
There we go. Oh no, it's raining out. Get out of the wall. Oh man, that guard, that cop was pretty close. Kind of safe down here. There's like a covered mall here I want to get into. There we go. There should be a pharmacy around here somewhere that sells a first aid kit, but with the hobo stew, I think we're fine. Get a few wet wipes for when we get uh, a little dirty from the dumpsters. Because once we find the seamstress, I think we'll want to just kamikaze these dumpsters and cut our clothes up. It's hard to tell, but we can't go in every store. We can only go in ones that have a little door logo on them. NPCs can go inside every building. Uh, good thing about the rain is usually people don't want to stand around, including the people that watch stuff. So the cop might see us, but I forced that to succeed using our willpower. And then we're going to steal this tire and we're going to steal this cinder block. wet meter doesn't really go down. I mean, it stops going up if we stay out of the rain, but we're probably just going to use the fire barrel here in the charity fort that we have. Well, I wouldn't call it a fort. It's a crafting bench and a fire barrel. Don't even have a roof. But luckily, this one's under the roof. 40 seconds is enough to drive. We'll talk to this guy while we drive. Fergrim. Dude, you live here? Yeah, I live here, so what? I'm just saying, you live here all by yourself, no buds? Well, all my buddies are out and about. I'm keeping the fire going. I only see one sleeping bag. You all fit in there? Fit? Nah, man, they all pack up their shit and hide it. They have some mighty expensive sleeping bags. Too expensive to just have them laying around. You can keep an eye on them, right? What? The sleeping bags. You can keep an eye on them while you're here. Yeah, right, I don't think so. I'm not that reliable. They wouldn't leave them with me. Fuck, man, aren't you a bit too nosy? Are your friends made up? Hey, if I were you, I'd get the fuck out of here. Hey, I don't want any trouble. All right, man, it's just me. You happy now? Stay calm, dude. What's your name? I'm not going to steal anything. You better not. I'm packing heat, you know, just in case if things get dicey. Okay, what's the name? Fergrim, that's what they call me. He's reaching out for a handshake. Okay, accept the handshake. That's a relic from my LARPing days. I see. Heard about LARPs? I've heard something about it, but not much. People these days, LARPs are great. I usually went there as a wizard or a thief. Ooh, sounds like a fun way to waste time. It is, man. What I wouldn't give to go on one again. Hey, you know any parties that happened recently? Because we have amnesia. If there was one, I wasn't invited. Sorry, no idea. Do you know who would know? Uh, I don't know. Bear's not really a social type, so you can cross him off the list. Try Shrug. I know Shrug. Uh, doing good? Everything's going to shit, man. Not going good at all. It's hard to work when your fingers are about to get frozen solid. Get some gloves. You ever seen a pickpocket with mittens? You're a pickpocket. It's my craft. System doesn't give a rat's ass about me, so I gotta take care of myself. It's not my fault I can't find honest jobs. I bet you could show me Helatrix. I could, but not for free. Man has to eat, you know. Sure. Teach me how to steal. See, 15 trust in rum. He'll give us some thief XP. I think we can do... The ones that give XP, I think we can do those just once a day. Or infinitely, I suppose, if we have the rum. Shameless thief. 20 trust, and then we lose less morale when we steal. That's a nice one. Uh, stealing expert. Yeah, these ones. I'm not too worried about these ones. Shameless thief will be really handy. Um, request? No. We don't have enough trust to ask him for help. Chat. They kicked my ass something good. Hope they won't come back anytime soon. What happened? Some guys came around and kicked my ass six ways to Sunday just for fun, you know? Who were they? 
They just laughed. Fucking comedians. Those are some mean dickheads. One of them downed me with some fucking kick. Knocked my lights out. That's not normal. No, it's not. People are fucking animals, let me tell you. I heard they teach martial arts at the gym behind the gas station. Maybe I'll pay that place a visit one of these days. We could defend ourselves against people if we find this gym. I've never been able to find that place. I should find the gym. We're dried off. Um, did I say I was going to do something here at the base? Ah, Christ, I am not too excited to go out in this rain. Oh, we can go find Monty. Um, I don't think there's a really good way to get to that side of town by... St like, I could cut through the mall, but then we're all the way over here. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just want to stay out. Eh, there's not really a lot of places to hide. Oh, hey, man. The shitty thing is thugs like to hide in these overhangs. So when you try to get out of the rain, you might get mugged. This is an apartment building. I don't actually know what happens in these places. I think you either need really high lock picking for things like guts, and you can just go befriend townspeople. Actually, hang on. No one should see me over here. Oh, fuck you. So, picking locks in there is going to be tricky. Where am I? We're trying to go this way, so that's my right. Gonna talk to Shrug about the party that we're supposedly blackout drunk from. Oh, this might be behind the movie theater. Hey! Good call, Justin. That was the movie theater. Uh, I got a tip that you were getting rid of some furniture here? Unfortunately, someone took it just a moment ago, damn it. So every day, there's a chance that they'll have furniture. That's a thug. We don't want to go that way. How is it? I like it. I, I played this game for, uh, I want to say, like, maybe 30 or 40 hours before I decided to stream it. It is a slow game. But I enjoy it. Christ. He doesn't have a fire barrel either. Oh boy. Son. Did any party take place around here? How should I know? Have you tried asking the master? He really knows everything? I don't know how he does it. Maybe he's magical. Where can I find master? Near the viaduct in the yard of the old distillery. He's got his caravan there. Okay. Now see if I was... If it was raining, but I was not cold, I could wear this plastic garbage poncho. It does sound like the rain stopped. Now, this coat intrigues me. I don't think it's worth it, though. It's got a little bit of everything. I prefer to specialize. Really, I prefer to just get as much cold resist as I can. We've lost some cold resist on our shirt. And we've lost the charisma on our jeans. I'm going to sell you this. We're up to 260. Isn't there fighting? The fighting is very bare bones. It's like a text-based combat system. I avoid the combat for the most part. You know what? We need we need treasure. We can fix our clothes and we have soap. Let's just shred ourselves. It won't hurt as long as we have durability. Especially this. Because we oh so, unlike stealing things from a container, stealing things from a dumpster only makes us sad when we break the lock. Oh, look at that! It doesn't even make you sad when you pick it. Like, look at all this stuff. Uh, 
And that did a number on our clothes, but it's a lot of stuff. Shit. Oh boy. Just gotta get your rhythm. Two lottery tickets. A moldy pillow. Now, I almost never see those, and sometimes people ask for those as a favor, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Shit. Now, this is a lot more dangerous when it's wintertime and we rip our clothes and we lose that little bit of cold resist that's keeping us alive. An old tea kettle we could fix and sell to Anatoly. A lamp for the base. Find a lot of furniture. A dead rat. We actually need that for a quest, so that's a good find as well. That was a very successful dumpster dive. Um, uh, but it did actually not fuck up our clothes that much. Now, it made our clothes stinky. Actually, our hat's in terrible shape. It made our clothes stinky, but we can wash our clothes at the charity. My morale's broken. Um, there's actually a shop right here to buy a nudie mag. Give me your skinnest of skin mags. Wonderful. I am very sleepy, though. I'm not even sure if I can make it home before I pass out. It's be oh, the mini games are making me sleepy. That's what it is. Oh, that guy saw me. This is our chance to go home and sleep, I guess. Yeah, you don't want those stats to get out of control. Those stats get into the red, they add up, your fucking health goes down. Because we still never got our health down too low. Why are naughty mags consumed on use? We're a very discerning hobo when we jack off. Oh, ooh, ten crowns. Nothing on that one. Which one of these guys do we sell the tobacconist? No. Hello. 70 bucks. Fuck that, we'll get a rub for the road. Do lottery tickets have a rare chance of a high payout? I've never won more than like 30 crowns on the lottery ticket. There might be a, you might have a chance to get a whole bunch. Who's this? That's ah, just an apartment building. I've never found the perks for going inside the apartment building. Burglar and guts, I think they are. So there's a gym behind the gas station there somewhere, but we are very tired. And our health is still in bad shape. Our hunger's gone down to the point where I can eat some grub. Brings us up to 46. We basically need more textiles to make bandages. We can rip up clothes. We can, uh, like, decraft them back at the base. But we're so poor. Um, but I'd rather sell the clothes. Actually, that's not true. I think as of today, we should probably rip the clothes up because I really want to be back around 100% health. Being under being under 50 in a stat is a little stressful. Let's place a bunch of shit here. We can pick these items back up whenever we want, so...
There we go. Milestone achieved for the base. That might give us a perk. I'd love to stack these. Looks like I can't very easily, though. Okay. So then it's R for our stat menu. So I think every 10 points we can buy a perk. Here's some perks. We can get our resistances. We're probably going to go for this one because we can get 15 in our resistances. This one is increases willpower. Actually, this one's tempting. Oh, my friend never bought this willpower perk. This would give us up to five willpower, which would let us pass a lot of mini games. And we can get willpower from um, eating candy, like chocolate bars and bubble gum. So willpower is not too hard to get a hold of. This increases our skill. Now, plus three dumpster diving is pretty great, but we can also just actually dumpster dive. Um, we sleep and shit quicker. Uh, this is for fighting, I think. Uh, we heal when we sleep. Uh, we recover illness when we sleep and we get happy when we sleep. Increases storage, yeah. So we probably want um, willpower and stat resistances. Can I craft anything? Make another smoke. Oh, right. I was going to go to sleep. Oh, leveled up crafting. We needed that. Disassemble some shit here. Now, why can't I place that sofa? Oh, I see. Because it's not a decoration. It's a usable. Now, we go here. There's another milestone. And that is under that, so we'll still be dry. Do they do different things? Cold? Nope, there's no bonus. That's fine, all right. Yep, so the question mark means we have a perk. So we can either grab a willpower or resistance. I'm actually going to grab the resistance, because for where we are, plus five's quite a bit. This action is irreversible, but I mean, we'll always need resistance, so this is hardly a dud one. I am positive. So once we get another ten points from base milestones... We can pick another one, so I'm going to cook up some wood, and then we're going to sleep. And then we get plus 10 cold resistance when we use the blankets. So we, you can probably get by sleeping in your base if you just have a fire going, but if you're sleeping on a bench just somewhere in the city, you'll need a cardboard blanket. Fifteen degrees outside right now. This health is making me very uncomfortable, but all these all these containers down under the highway should have respawned again. Might be able to find some fabric for bandages, but we might just have to spring. I might just have to spring for some money at the pharmacy for a first aid kit. Plus five to every resist, though. That's quite the boon for where we are. So you find it interesting they don't speed up resting. The blanket also makes us sleep quicker. Um, see, we sleep 40% quicker, 50% quicker, 60% quicker with the best blanket. Oh, you get, you get 30 cold resist on the best blanket. I didn't notice that. Um, it's a little cold outside, but it's actually not that cold. Perfect. Old textiles for bandages. For some reason, even if your clothes keep you warm, you get you get colder than normal while you sleep. So now that we're awake, we should be okay. Let's really take advantage of the fact that we got a lot of stamina, though. Grab all this shit.
So we should also be able to level up those buildings. I don't think they do anything besides help us unlock milestones for the base. So it's like we should be able to upgrade the couch. Another pile of wood, because we do need wood to build walls for our base. Uh, our morales, I did buy that porno mag, but our morale's not in great shape to be stealing just yet. Kind of want to hold off on stealing until we get that shameless thief. Uh, hello. He's looking at a small cabinet. Lost keys to Narnia? What? Well, yes, but I actually know. I just want to open it and see what's inside. A new find, you know? People don't exactly throw out their furniture with keys included. You don't have some lockpicks? I could make some if I had a length of wire. And before you ask like an idiot, no, I don't have wire. What would you do? Without me, I don't exactly know. About those wires? I have this wire. I have some binding wire. That'd be good enough. It's really firm, especially if I braid them together. Well, there you go. Sometimes a quest will ask for something, and if you give them extra items, you'll get extra trust. That's going to be enough for a lot of lockpicks. You're welcome. What are you selling today? A toilet. A shopping cart. He's got some nice furniture today, but we do not have money to spare just yet. Teach me. If I get to 15 trusts, they'll teach me about lockpicks. Warm up a bit at the free barrel here. Ooh! Dubious pizza? Canned beer? Unfinished key bad? It's a nice haul. Fuck, what's this? Bottled beer? Kind of the bottles. A bottle opener. Uh, some some hobos ask for bottle openers, so that'll come in handy. Behind the gas station, it's got to be one of these buildings. Oh, this with the arrows. <laughs> Again, we really want dumpster stuff. Three newspapers. We can use that instead of our two by fours. Stand to Gruznar. I've heard you teach martial arts here? You heard right. Lessons are open to the public, but you have to pay for each one. I teach all levels of experience from beginners to more advanced. Even I could come here and train? A poor sucker from the street? If you pay for the lesson, I'll teach you like I teach anybody else. That's good to hear. There's some rules here. If I'm going to allow you on the mat, I need you to be clean and sober, understand? I won't have it on my conscience if you hurt yourself or somebody else. You're welcome. By the way, the name's Stanley Grisner. We can be on a first name basis if we're going to train together. All right, Stanley. My name's Common Hobo. Have you heard anything about this veiled vindicator? Hearsay, mostly. Rumors and made-up stories. But supposedly the vindicator uses some kind of martial art. Like what you teach? No, from what I've heard, they use Thai boxing. I don't teach that here. Oh. Teach me. Beginner techniques. Attack plus three. Teaches me adrenaline scrapper. In combat, you can use your willpower to heal ten. In combat, you can use your willpower to hit your opponent twice. Now that's good. Eight hundred dollars, though. Attack plus three. Permanently increases your attack plus three. That's pretty good, but we are poor. Alright. Cut these clothes up. We need all the items we can get right now. That's the one problem with the dumpster minigame is you kind of just commit to it once you find uh, all the, the no-no tiles. That's pro This is probably the better approach for now, just so we can get a lot of items up front. Plastic crate for Meisner. Perfect. A broken vacuum cleaner? Oh, we forgot to deliver that radio. Oh, 
Some fabric. Ho 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 ho! It's a nudie mag. We are overweight. What happens when we're overweight is we can't regenerate stamina. So as long as I don't run, we're fine. But we're going to run a little bit because we're almost back home. Hello. I've had really bad luck with begging the last couple of days. I basically just need to get home. Christ, I just need to get home and drop off some stuff. We have some heavy shit on us. But like things like this, now that we have three, we can clear these pretty safely. Dumpster diving gives us enough of a head up. I forget who... Someone teaches us a dumpster diving perk, but I'm not sure who. Two hundred dollars. Rum costs fifty. Not the worst. Not the worst purchase. But we can find rum in the dumpsters. I might need to be a higher level, or it might just be only the gigantic ones. Oops. Uh, Also, as we level up dumpster diving, I think I said this before, but these uh, these useless tiles will actually become real items as we level up more and more. Uh, not all the way, but I'd say probably over half the tiles will start to be useful once we're a high level. A bandage! Ooh, I just touched a lot of fucking stinky tiles there. Can of soda, a Coke to be precise. But yeah, ones like this. Once you have a high dumpster diving, you'll find a lot of nice shit in these. Oh boy. Oh, a little scarf. Ah, oh, another mattress. A chair. Tire. See, that was a good one. I smell. See, because we've been going through the dumpsters too much now. Uh, but we have we have a fair bit of soap. Maybe not enough. I think they let us in the charity no matter how smelly we are, so we can go have a shower in the morning. Yeah, I think we're just going to be a dumpster hobo for a few days. Because if you didn't notice, when you get a success, the bar decays. So you get the most bang for your buck if you catch it on the backswing. But my timing always seems to be off on that part. But it can. All right, let's get home. Failure on the sliding bar bits. When we fail, we do rip our clothes or get stinky. I think it's always a rip, actually. You always rip your clothes when you fuck up the minigame. We can dismantle the uh, can again. There's some junk in there. Let's give this crate to Meisner. Oh, I was going to drop off some stuff. Drop off some of the heavy shit. I'm still overweight, actually. Um... Oh, I, I bet you it's because we fucked up the pockets. Yeah, we really fucking shredded our clothes playing the dumpster game. We're in a very dangerous spot now. Luckily, it's still autumn and not winter, but...
Ooh. That's how you upgrade stuff. Okay. Not enough storage space. I guess my friend managed to add a lot of space. Can I take my clothes off before dumpster diving? We tried that once, and with no clothes, you hurt yourself instead of ripping your clothes. And that's the reason our health is so low, is we got ourselves stuck in a situation where we hurt ourselves. Here you go, then. Hope this isn't going to break like the last one. Yep, happy to help. I should I should take his money, but we'll get more trust if we just give it to him. And we want to get his trust up decently. Hey, he gave us a bottle of rum. Thank you. What did he teach us? If he took the crate. Huh. Chat, have a look at this. What is it? No. So sometimes when you talk to him, I think he'll just try to sell you something, which is not ideal. We want to get a quest from him. Another plastic crate broke. Fuck that. That one took a long time to find, Meisner. I'll get you one. Have a look at this. He's trying to sell me shit. Fuck that. Sell the shopping cart and stuff. No thanks. So hopefully, well, dropping off the radio is risky because Monty tends to be shit-faced at nighttime, and if you talk to someone when they're drunk, they might try to fight you. Um, that's identical, so we can we can sell duplicates to uh, Drax. If it gives stats, you want at least one of it. And if it doesn't give stats, you really don't need it. So I'm freezing. There is a free fire over by Drax, and we're going to use that for a little bit till sunup. Our clothes are torn, so like Justin said, we need to go visit the seamstress. Uh, and, and even though we have shitty starter clothes, our clothes aren't that great. It's going to cost a lot of money to get them fixed. We might lose all our cash here. What do you say? nothing to sell because I left the chair in my stash. Fuck. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to rub some wet naps on myself. There we go. So our clothes are a mess. Our health is still low, but we didn't hurt ourselves. My bowels are restless. What's this scarf going to do? It's got a bunch of charisma. This is four. This is nine. So this will be better for begging. Get a little extra item capacity here. We went from 20 to 45 by carrying just the extra bags. So that's pretty good. Um, I can make two grubs if we buy some rolls. Because we want to craft shit whenever we see it. Um because we get crafting XP and we need crafting levels for stuff. My stinking must be separate from close stinking. So when my clothes smell, I get smelly quicker, Justin. I think passively. Just having smelly clothes passively builds up my smell. Um, so we can... I'm probably going to wash these. If we can get them fixed to seamstress, we'll probably get these washed. Um, I can make my own grub, so I think we'll ask for clothes at the charity tomorrow. Some newspapers, tattered mattress, a, a lot of bottles we can sell. I think once we get to that first one, once we get to like noon is when the sun should come up. Probably work our way over and out of town. guy guarding some stuff to steal. Whenever you see a guy smoking, that just means he's guarding a bunch of stuff that's stealable. And when it's raining, he tends to go inside and you can actually steal the stuff safely. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
almost have another level in dumpster diving. Oh, an old mirror. Oh, it's raining. That's not ideal. Actually, that's not terrible because Monty's kind of uh, covered. Devil horns. Yeah, those are shit. Sell that to Shrug. Actually, I might just break that. Old pack of cigarettes, which is perfect because I think Monty wanted cigarettes. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. Might be a long one. It's not going to be City Skylines long, but I think this is a long game. Oh, fucking no, you don't. Police! We're not talking to these police. Fun fact about the police is I think... Um, They'll ask for uh, helpful advice, but if you ever snitch to the police, every hobo in the city finds out, and they hate you for it. So we don't talk to the pigs. Unfortunately, that fucking guy's blocking the good shortcut. But it looks like he might have actually wandered off. That's good. Um... Look. Dry. No, I'm not, I'm not going to dry off there. We can dry off there, but it's not worth it. Just because we have to run through this again. And I actually don't have a lot of water resist on with our busted ass clothes. I'm going to steal all this shit since our clothes were already a fucking joke. About those smokes? Here you go. Money for the cigs? Cool. He paid me a hundred. Uh, can you look at this radio? That's a burnt transistor. We replace this. It's going to work like new. Can you do that? My eyes closed. I just need this type of transistor. Bring one to me and I'll solder it on. Where do I get one? I don't know. You could buy it. However, I'd rather you brought me some electrical scrap you find lying around. I can make do with that. I think I dropped off all my electrical scrap. I'm still looking. Shit. You going to tell me about that new business? No way, I don't even know you, man. I'm not going to tell you my secrets, but we can get to know each other, right? We could, but my friends list is already full. Maybe if one spot opened up. Okay, calm the fuck down. I think he pays more. No, he doesn't. Um, He pays... Eh, I'm going to sell it to him instead of the junkyard just because he's open all day. And he'll buy... Some of my junk. Actually, that's a good deal. Five? Oh, no, he pays one for junk. Um, So if you have, like, hundreds of junk, this is decent money, actually. Uh, we could buy some of these. Seven dollars. Seven dollars to make bandages. You're better off just buying bandages. Um, Teach me. Let's talk about crafting. No. Okay. It is pretty fucking wet out there, unfortunately. And these guys don't have a barrel. Let me make a smoke. Fuck this thing. Break down these broken toys. You actually get a lot from the broken toys. I might be able to sell this mirror. I'd rather break it. Seems like I'm doing rather well with money. Um, you, I think it's like $10,000 for like the nicest winter coat. So you definitely bounce back and forth between having a lot of money and then just needing to buy something very expensive. Grab a bunch of that shit. We are in a bit of a pickle here because it's very cold and we're wet.
There's a fire barrel nearby, but we have really bad cold resist because I've really fucked up our clothes. It hurts now. Uh oh. Our clothes are completely fucking shredded. Okay. Our dumpster days are over. It's too much owies. Where's the fucking... Where was... Oh, shit. Where was the fire barrel? It was on the way to the police station, wasn't it? I'm getting a little sad, so we'll read a porno to cheer ourselves up. I guess I also could have taken the antidepressants, but... Drink this coffee to stay awake. Couple rolls and we can make some grub. Have a worthless scratch ticket. Make a campfire. There's a lot of stuff. We're actually a little cock blocked by our crafting level for the base. We're getting a lot of recipes we just can't do yet. Level of dumpster diving, so that was worth nicking ourselves a little bit. Looks like the rain stopped too. Let's go get that electrical scrap and we'll buy the rolls on our way home. Yeah, we're getting a nice we're getting a nice cash buffer. Probably burn it a bunch for an emergency, like buying a hamburger or a medical kit. Probably the medical kit. I will know though. I think if we make the food, we can get our health in decent shape. It depends. I think there's a pharmacy by the charity. We'll see what a first aid kit actually costs. A first aid kit is like fifty bucks. I'll just buy that. I'll just pay fifty bucks to have my health back. I'd like to find that doctor, Doctor Handsome, but I don't know where he is. Still haven't been able to make a single thing for the house. Oh wait, I can make a shoddy wall. And if we place that, that will be something for the uh, structures usable. Nope, it's not this one. It's it's hideout. So what the fuck? Start building. There it is. Is that quest done? Roof over your head, which is just done. I don't think there was a reason to do it. Okay. I need the electrical parts for Monty. So yeah, so we could sell this junk for $1 to Monty. So that's 60 bucks, but we're going to hang on to it. All right, we'll craft the food too. Okay, eat one of them. I oh no! Your sphincter is gone loose. It's all in your pants now. I just shit myself, which gives us one hundred percent stink. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the toilet paper. Um, we're not going to be allowed in any shop, but there's a chance we'll be allowed inside the charity so I can wash this out of my crack. It's caked in.
Uh, no, wait, wait. Um, the charity might not let us in, so let's go to uh, Shrug, because Shrug lets us shower for free. I'm guessing Shrug won't let us get all the way clean, though. And nobody, nobody's going to talk to us because we're too poopy. I can ne like I know he's back here, but I can never remember the right way to go to get to Shrug. So what you actually would want to do is you want to have another set of gear, like your starter gear, which I scrapped, but that shitty starter gear, and you put that on when you dumpster dive, like something that's cheap to fix. Um, he won't let me. Where are you going to sleep tonight? I'd like to sleep here, but the ground's getting rather chilly. Just add more tarp. Tarp, tarp, tarp. It's for amateurs. I want some real insulation. Polystyrene. I just don't have any like finding some. If I find some, I'll let you know. Um, request. So the problem is... Shit, I shouldn't have talked to him. It's under... It's under this one. So we do have to go to the charity. Barter? What do you got for me today? Um, Santa hat. Cool guy sunglasses for bikers. Some sandals. Definitely don't want to wear sandals. The pants aren't ruined. Uh, well, sorry, the, pan the pants are, like, they need to be repaired, but the pants aren't functionally useless just yet. Um, that's going to hurt because our clothes are busted. Get to the charity. Take the dog for a walk, too. The good thing about the dog is um, you can basically take a shit, shower, wash your clothes and then walk the dog to get the to get your money back you really want to stay on top of your dumpster diving begging as well I'm sure uh, we'll get really gross, like I said, once we get, um, I think we get four warnings now. Yeah, we get four warnings in the dumpster. So even when we don't rip our clothes, we can get a lot further now. Um, once we get our begging to the point where people give us items, which is level four and level seven is the next break point. That'll be really big. Basically, we won't need to spend any money on food. What? Is there an end point to the game? Uh, if we get elected the Hobo King, we've effectively beaten the story. Uh, which involves us, like, befriending several hobos and other factions. Bravichko. I need to shower. Oh, good heavens, where have you been? The washroom will be all dirty after you're done. I'll have to clean it all up. No, no, you'll have to pay extra for my time or go somewhere else. Well, don't shit your pants, apparently. Yeah, fine. Don't you come here like this ever again. You're not used to taking showers, so it was quite an unpleasant experience, but your odor's gone. Something for free? Um, let's go with food. Tasty grub. That's a strong hobo stew. Need help with Bobby? Yes. I'll tire him out. What do you have for sale today? Ah, just shit. Those are actually some okay shoes. Fucking four hundred dollars is why. Holy hell! There's see two hundred dollars for the deluxe sweatshirt, and I got that for free one day. So, oh, what are those pants? Compared to my pants, expensive jeans. I mean, they're two hundred dollars. They're a little bit better. They're just a little bit better in every way. Um, I washed off. Mo I didn't even give it all back. He gave it most of it back. Where's the tasty? Tasty gives us 30 health and it keeps us warm. So now our stats are in good shape again. Do I want to wash my clothes too? I do want to wash my clothes. Yet that'll just help with the ambient stink. 50 crowns for the laundry. Oh my god. Yeah, see, there goes our. Our money sort of evaporated in a hurry there. The seamstress is... Um, 
It shouldn't cost too much because we have shitty starter clothes. Because I don't think she charges a flat fee. I think she charges you based on the uh, the quality of the clothes. There we go. Begging's about to level up, actually. What's this place? Oh, that's just the money. The seamstress should be over here, I think. There's a thug, but the seamstress is considered a shop. There she is. Hello? Miss Emka, hello. Oh shit, I don't have a carnation to sweet talk her. How do you know me? Somebody told me about you, all good stuff, so I thought I'd stop by. Really? Oh, come on. Who talk about me like that? I'm just an old woman. Nobody cares about me. My words exactly. Fuck you, old bitch. Hello. Yes, I need... So I need a carnation before she'll help me fix my clothes. And, uh, carnations... Oh, shit. Give me your money now. Fuck. I don't want to get beat up. Just take some money. Takes about... What is that? A third of it? Fucking thugs. Ooh, old dishes. We can break those down for parts. Oh, that's no good. I get four warnings. Two, three, four. That, not as much as I wanted or that. Box alone. An awesome bottle. So I can fix some clothes myself, and I think my skill might be high enough. Now that we've been making some shit today, I have some bottles to return. Yeah, we lost $100 when that guy mugged us. And then we lost like $100 fucking washing the poop out of our jeans. What's this place? A supermarket. Lord be praised. I'm fine, sir. Just shopping for money. It's totally fine. I'm not hindering you. I could buy some high heels if I wanted to. They sell bandages for 30. Holy fuck. I'll make my own. Thank you. Lemon. Toilet paper. Laundry detergent. They don't sell anything. Why not become a hobo death lord? Um, I, I don't like the combat in this game, so I'm really avoiding bullying hobos. Let's get that morale buff, pooch. Can I get a blessing? Could I get a big blessing for 20 faith? Yes. That gives us double faith regeneration. Not literally double, but bigger. Excuse me then, beg. Dang. Yeah, I mean, what they say is irrelevant, so we just kind of just burn through the begging dialogue now. And then we'll just double talk and then try to beg. We're actually by Monty, I think. Nope, that's a thug. Yeah. 
That guy was staying still, I didn't trust him. I gotta go to the movie theater too, because they can give us furniture every day. Yeah, I gotta. Man, there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. What the fuck is Monty? I think I went too far. Standing still, I don't trust you. Pharmacy, what's a first aid kit cost? A hundred. Well, I mean. Better than dying and losing everything. But we have a lot of health right now. Mm -hmm. Hey there, beautiful. That's a hooker. He's tall. I'm doing pretty good considering all my charisma clothes are damaged. No carnation, though. We're going to have to go dumpster diving to find a carnation. Uh, there's a chance that the that one shop uh, sells one. The one that was selling the rubber boots, I think she has a chance to sell different shit. All right, we've got to get that dog home. Let's talk to Monty quick. Go with that radio, got the parts. We can use this. You see him rip something out and solder it onto the radio. It's done. Good as new. Wow, thanks. Welcome. Say hi to Meisner for me. What? I recognized his radio. He probably forgot I gave it to him way back when. I'll pass along your message. Um, teach me? Not enough trust. Chat. I'd really like to take a good shit. Thanks for the update. You don't get it. I hate to shit without my deluxe toilet paper. It's for the perfect ending, you know? I don't want to use those shitty single-ply papers they have at the toilets. All right, thanks for letting me know. If we find deluxe toilet paper, he'll be quite happy about it. Happy as a pig in shit, you could say. Tricky, but I'm almost at a lockpicks. Fuck is the opening on this thing? Well, we're at a lockpicks. That really sucks. Getting a little tired. I guess we've been at this for a while, too. I don't think we'll be playing much longer tonight. I wouldn't even say we have a good foundation, unfortunately. We don't have a lot of stuff in our base yet. Our skills aren't that great. We didn't die. We got that going for us. Christ. I think, I, I think I'm going to have to start risking the 30% bags. I'm failing the... Uh, I'm failing the second conversation a lot. New level in begging. Hello. No. So I mean, begging and dumpster diving are like the core stats for my place. I think they're both at level three already. Let's not do that. I think, ah, fuck, there's a cop right there. I'm kind of tempted to crack those open and go digging, but we have no uh, durability, do we? Which means we'd need a first aid kit. So you'd have to find about a hundred bucks worth of shit in there for that to be worth it. I don't think it is.
what happens when the cops catch you? They throw us in jail, which is either zero morale or just is a huge hit to your morale. And then we're stuck in prison for a minute or two, which is very cold and uncomfortable. That was fast. Perfect. Healing tea. That's a good outcome. Can I have something for free? Um, something to wear. A cheap jacket, which we'll scrap right now. Um, what do you have for sale? Same shit as before, okay. So up to 300 bucks. We could also focus on some quests. We don't want to fall, we don't want our quests to fall too far behind. Uh, cause they'll be a little annoying to do in the winter. I mean, everything's gonna be annoying to do in the winter. So is it, do I just always get stinky? Cause if I never hurt myself, we can still go dumpster diving. That's pretty good, actually. In fact, I am going to do that. I'm going to go dumpster diving outside the, uh, the charity outpost here we have. Because it just makes us really stinky. Not enough lockpicks, though. Fuck, I forgot about that fun fact. Um, so yeah, so the healing tea gives us 100 warmth, so that's like a very good emergency item if we're caught out in the cold. There's one bandage. I'm a little sleepy. Oh, we're going to give that back to Meisner. Yeah, the cops haven't been giving us a lot of trouble because we don't steal. And usually cops don't patrol near lock things. They only patrol near, uh, like, like people. So the cop will get mad if you pickpocket. But usually he won't go near the, uh, like, the little factory workshops that you can steal plywood from. Fuck. Should be able to hide from the thug over here if I'm careful. Fuck, I didn't make it. Oh, God. Uh, I really, yeah, our health is our worst out right now. He can just take some more money. Just take the fucking money. Took a hundred bucks. God damn it, I almost made it. Do you sell a carnation? Uh, it's $100, but it will unlock the ability to get our clothes fixed. So there goes another chunk of change. Deluxe toilet paper for... Monty? I mean, might as well. Might as well just burn a bunch of our cash. Okay. That's okay. Because now, a uh, fun fact about thugs is if you don't have money and they mug you, nothing happens. They're just like, oof, you've got no money. Later, loser. So, in a sense, if you can liquidate all your cash, then you can explore the town more safely. But you can also just outrun thugs or just be good at fighting. Uh, but even if you're good at fighting, they'll hurt you a little bit and break your weapons. So you'll want to have some bandages and the ability to repair your shit. What's it? About that toilet paper? I got some for you. Your suffering is nearing its end. I have here a roll of deluxe toilet paper. That is quite extraordinary. Here you go. I like to uh, give things for free so we get extra trust because if we charge money we just have to do more quests. There's no way to stash money, so no, just never let the thugs catch you. You can get a hang you can get a handle on where they'll stand and avoid them for the most part, but I've just been unlucky today basically. Teach me ah, not enough. We don't we don't know enough about crafting yet. So services 
exchange loose useless junk for junk? I'll give you 50 pieces of junk for 100 pieces of useless junk. No thanks. Yeah, if it's just going to be stink, we can still go dumpster diving. Another jerry can. Damn it. A well-preserved office table. That's kind of nice. Hello? I don't know what. Don't have lockpicks. Drax, back near Meisner, can teach us how to make lockpicks, and I think we need to do that because I am all out. Unless we find more in the dumpster, we're out of luck. Let's go give this carnation to the seamstress, though. Don't have enough money to fix our clothes, but that's a problem for another time. Yeah, I'd say it's a good place to stop, so I think we'll uh, head back to the base check those crates and then uh, call it a night. And of course, it's a, it's a long game. I suppose maybe if you knew exactly what you were doing, you could play the game a little quicker, but I mean, we haven't even figured out who we are yet. We're still hung over. Oh, right, where was the movie theater? This is the movie theater, so this back door there's a chance they'll have furniture when we talk to them. Excellent. Hello, everybody. How'd you get here? Get lost. What the fuck? He's not selling me anything today. I'm from the inspection, so watch it and show me all of what you're doing here. Oh, might as well. Steal this remarkable fabric. Well, now that we've had a good laugh, you best be on your way. I got you there for a second, didn't I? Indeed you did. Okay, bye. Would have preferred furniture, but... Whether to sell or scrap or put in the base. You can see just how little of the town, like we pretty much just stay in this quadrant for now. There's stuff over here and stuff over here by the waterfront. I don't think we can cross the river, so Old Town and Little Side. Actually, Old Town, maybe we can get over here. I don't know. Never been over there. Oh, no. Wackly well, joke's on you, asshole. I don't have much money. Come on, take it. Oh shit, look at you all poor and shit. You don't have any worthwhile money. I'm gonna go find somebody else. Yeah, he doesn't want to mug someone over a fiver. I've already been here. There's Miss Emka. I have the carnation this time. Hello! I can feel it when I meet a good being, and you are one. Here, this is for you. Oh gosh, someone must have told you I love carnations, right? Of course they did. And so I thought I'd bring one to make you happy. Uh, and that you did. Of course I'm happy. It's so pretty. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. They say you're a good seamstress? Well, I used to be, but now I only do it my sometimes, you know, for myself. And you don't make stuff for people? Well, sometimes for them too, but just when I feel like it. I'm retired now, so I don't want to overdo it, of course. And maybe if you had some time, would you be willing to mend a suit for me? Well, you're such a nice chap that I might just for you. That's wonderful. I'd really appreciate that. I would refuse such a gentleman. Um, please mend the clothing. So, 80, Christ. 80, 140, two. It's like 300 bucks to fix our clothes, so we got to be a little more careful when we go dumpster diving. Wow. 
it's quite possibly teach me ooh teach me the better poncho blueprint 50 bucks in a carnation 100 bucks in a carnation crafting level 2 which we have crafting level 5 which we don't have so the poncho is tempting because I think we can make very beautiful ponchos that help us beg at the train station I need to find a nice wad of cash though but like I was saying um Hey, hey, a nudie mag. This one's only got a few stains on it. Uh, our crafting's high enough, we might be able to fix our own clothes because they're not particularly nice clothes. So we should just be able to stitch these up. Um, and that's probably, I think if you can fix it yourself, you should fix it yourself. You should really only go to the seamstress if you're fucked. Can you show me what you're selling, Mr. Schlemmer? He seems to have more stuff than the other tobacconists. Go buy some soap. Yeah, it's not good. Um, how are we doing here? 32%? I could probably... I could probably shower at the charity, but we're already on our way home. Can I have just the one piece of clothing on and not get hurt? I think as long as I am not... See, all my clothes right now are busted, and this doesn't hurt us. It makes us smelly. So I think as long as you're not 100% smell, you won't hurt yourself. I think as long as you have clothes on, even if they're damaged, you won't hurt yourself. We definitely learned a few lessons about uh, my lackadaisical approach to being a hobo. Let's hope that hurt, actually. I might, I might be too stinky. Or maybe I had just a sliver. I might have had just a sliver of uh, durability left in my clothes. So let's go home and see if we can actually fix any of them. Even if we can fix them, we're actually kind of short on materials. We might have some stuff we can deconstruct. Like, I think we found a shitty windbreaker today. That new poncho is tempting. If we could get up to, like, 20 charisma or something, that's a lot of people we can beg. Sun's about to go down, uh, which would be perfect time to sleep, but... Probably want to get out and... Accomplish stuff in the day. Kind of, our schedule's been kind of lopsided lately. Like, we sleep through the evening and then be awake all night. Not going to get a lot done doing that. It could be a dice roll. I shouldn't have done that. I need that to fix my clothes, I bet. I can actually fix all these. We're just short on the items themselves. So I could have fixed my pants, but I made the bandage. That was a bad idea. Put this down. I can fix my pants. And I can almost fix my... Almost fix my scarf. I get more cold resist from the fur coat. I think I can make that. I can upgrade my junk into other junk. Can't I? My crafting's too low, actually. I need to craft some stuff that doesn't take... Hello? Big mattress. Uh, we could make a stool. Doesn't do anything, though. The important thing is it doesn't consume stuff I need. Uh, I'm going to break this down because we already have the one jerry can, but I will place the table. Just sort of loading it up. No reason for things to be where they are.
Um, but yeah, I'll make I'll make this just for the crafting XP, I think. And then we just break it back down. Really wish I had this junk. So I think we'll just fix the pants instead, just so we have something functional. It's five. I actually get more from the scarf. I actually get more everything. I'm not attached to these ordinary jeans, actually. I like the punk scarf, though. We get a bunch of resist and a bunch of charisma. And that's actually a low-level item, so it was fixed right away. And then we could fix the shoes if we had a little more junk. But the junk is uh, troublesome. What do we got here? The tattered mattress. I kind of want to hang on to that because sometimes people ask for that in a quest. I'll keep the blanket. But I will sleep. Let's get a fire going, though. We'll see if Drax needs anything, because if we get, like, one more trust with Drax, he'll teach us how to make lockpicks, I think. I haven't been drinking a lot um, because you can actually get addicted to alcohol in this game and obviously because we have trouble getting money uh, being addicted to something is a huge detriment in Hobo. Man, I got really fucking cold once that fire went out. I didn't get wet at least, but it is raining out. Can I burn that we don't need? Just some more of this junk. Uh, we'll want a roof eventually so we can uh, cover up some facilities, get like a shitter, a nicer bed. Oh, some textiles. That might actually be enough for the, the shoes. But the pants, okay. That's another thing with full durability now. One less disaster. Monty repaired the radio. Andy says hi. He told him it's mine. He, he just knew somehow. Really? Well, it's possible. Anyway, it looks like he's willing to bury the hatchet. I'll go and talk to him later. My pleasure. Hope the tea's ready. I could really go for a cup of tea right now. I've got some left in the kettle. Give me a second. I'll find you a mug. He offers you a cup of tea. Whenever I'm coming down with something, this puts me back on my feet. What's the recipe? Some herbs and lemon juice, especially the lemon juice. Well, the herbs are important too. I'd say the water is the most important ingredient. Oh, shut up. You still need that crate? I don't have it. Barter? An old stove, blow up doll, tricycle, computer screen. Uh, let's see if we can grab some quests. We've 34 time we can chew up this is gonna sound unbelievable but i do indeed wash myself why are you telling me this because i'm out of soap i'll bring you some soap later about that soap i am out of soap but we'll be in good shape here if we can give him some monty was looking for a stove he could fit another monty quest you can count on me uh you think it's gonna rain today that reminds me, I need something to keep dry while it rains. You have some plastic bags? See here, um, this is a favor that's going to go away if we don't have anything. So he's just, that. that's that. 
So it's helpful to have a few uh, things on you sometimes. Let's see what Drax is up to today. Because uh, we can also warm up at their free hobo campfire. And we'll probably wrap it up over there too. Grab some shit really quick before we get too cold and wet. Man, speaking of soap, I'm a little stinky myself. Because of four, I think Justin asked in the chat, you cannot wash off your stink. It's the it's the soapy kind of smell. You just can't get wet from the rain to fix it. Now we're getting a lot of textiles. I was having trouble finding textiles all night. Now we find a whole bunch. Some bottles or wood. Person's too drunk, oh boy. He was so drunk he tried to fight us and we just backed out of the fight right away. He's gonna be a problem until he sobers up. Ooh, look at that. Canned beer, peppermint liquor, a smoke. Looks like I've not respawned these ones yet. Okay. We'll just warm up over here at the barrel and call it a night. Is the game timed or something? No, it's just that um, your stats can really give out on you if you're not careful. Like, you know, if I just walked away from the computer while I was out in the rain in the very cold weather, or if I was hungry or sleepy. So you're supposed to just always be dealing with your stats, but I think we're all dried up. Let's look at our stats first before we stop. I want to see what we got our, our perks to. Weak tea, we need three herbs. I think we find those in garbage and lemons we can buy at the grocery store we saw. So we're at level four dumpster diving, uh, which I think we can buy expert dumpster diver, but I don't remember who sells dumpster diving perks. Less mess in waste containers by eight and 40%. That's pretty good. Crafting's only level two. Our begging is just level two. Yeah, begging's cut. Begging's taking forever. Speech is almost level three, but I don't care about the speech passive. Stealing, we don't do a lot of stealing. Lock picking. Oh, right, it's Drax can teach us lock picks, but he's too fucking shit faced to talk to us. And then what do we got here? Um, there's a bunch of perks here, but we don't know who sells them. So there's not much point in learning that. And it, it stopped raining. But yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. I think we have a good foundation. Our character has some stats. So thanks for coming out to watch. Well, this game just looks fucking dopey if I uh, do the ending zoom in. Doesn't show a lot, I guess, because it's a first person game. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed Hobo Tough Life because it's a relatively long game. And we're going to be at it for a while. So if you tune in next time, it's going to be more Hobo Tough Life. Uh, while we continue our adventures to not starve to death and find warmer clothes. So until then.